Let's, uh, okay, we'll defend uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. All right. <laughs> wow. Anybody with a mullet can drop the end bomb as often as they want. Have you heard about Dog the Bounty Hunter? Anyone? Just, just get, fill me in. What it, what <laughs> I just read a headline. Oh, he he was a wow. You really, oh, have you heard yet? I just mouth. read the headline. That's just, all I read. It. Oh, it did he? Uh, oh. Well, I yeah. guess his uh, son is going out with a, uh, with black, a, girl. a black girl. Black yes. girl, yeah. And he's not happy about that. And uh, there was a little voicemail that he left on his son's uh, machine. Yeah, yeah. And I guess the son is not a not a good son because it seems like it, it got into the hands of the National Enquirer. It seems yeah. the dog loves the end bomb. That's just just that's loves really it. Really, as bad as talking about your dad dying, uh, crying at the back of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> look a little like that. It is amazing though, like the, like the fact that this guy—he's an ex-convict who's a bounty hunter. It's like, all right, he is what he is, but people actually care that he says it. Who? It's like I don't care what he said to his son. Oh, there's the first defense. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> big deal. I'm saying. Did you hear the tape? No. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, no, it's, oh it's, a big, it's, it's a big It's a biggie. Just so you know, there's no defense in this voice. Just so people listening should listen to this voice and say, mm -hmm. hey, he didn't defend him at all, did he? Just just keep that yeah, yeah. very clear. <laughs> well, here's, um, here's, uh, here's the actual voicemail, I guess, oh, right? Listen to this. You're going to play it? Well, oh, it's we're bleeps. heavily beeped. Oh, yeah. Wish we could just play it. I don't say it, the but... N-word on the radio anymore. Are you crazy? Uh, I'm not taking a chance on some I don't care if she's a Mexican, a whore, whatever. It's not because she's black. What about it's the whores? We use the word sometimes here. I'm not going to take a chance ever in life of losing everything I've worked for for 30 years because some heard us say and turned us into the Enquirer magazine. Our career is over. I'm not taking that chance at all. Yes, you are. Never in life. Never. Oops. Never. If Leeds was dating, we would all say you, and you know that. A little rough to follow wow. with the bleeps, but yeah. you, you get the idea. Uh, you yeah. can fit it in. Every bleep yeah. is the end bomb. Yeah. So. Well, no, there were some that were... Uh, the, the F, yeah. It was, a, it was a verb at one point, an adjective. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a verb. It was a verb um, <laughs> in, I think, the second instance. <laughs> <laughs> he is so done. And how he's saying, like, that'll never happen. I'm never going to let it happen as I'm letting it happen right now. He's making it happen. <laughs> don't email it, wow. stupid. Then just say you were hacked into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the defense already, don't you? Of course. So you think the girlfriend got a hold of that? Uh, well, either that or the son was uh, pretty outraged that his father was telling him to break up with this girl. Uh, because they dropped the M bomb around the house a lot, uh, I guess. Yeah. And uh, you know, eh, the son probably in love was pissed at his father. It's gonna be a great Thanksgiving at the dog. Oh house. yeah, Whoa, hey, great Ooh. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh. Well, we, we got. How did he get that invitation? <laughs> yeah, we got the dog. Explain why he uses the N word. Oh, Here it is. All right. If Lisa brought the black guy home, yeah, that. And it's not that they're black. It's none of that. It's that we use the word. We don't mean you scum without a soul. We don't mean that. But America would think we mean that. <laughs> wow. Well, well, let's join America. Yes. Thinking that. <laughs> That's exactly no, what he wanted me to go, dog. No, he wanted me. He got me back. Yeah, the last part of the explanation just made it all like okay. Like, oh, yeah, it okay. brings it together. Just plugged your show at that point because I would have tuned in. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not taking a chance on losing everything we got over a racial slur. Because our son goes with the girl like that. I can't do that, Tucker. You can't expect Gary, Bonnie, Cecily, all them young kids to because I'm in love for seven months. I f that. So I'll help you get another job, but you cannot work here unless you break up with her. And she's out of your life. I can't handle that. Wow. I didn't hear this part. Oh, yeah. That's just, Jeez. that's the son then going, all right, now, all right. Yeah, now it's here you go, what pops. Happens. Yeah, all right. Well, Done. Look what I do now. Wow. And then finally, dog says his son can't work for him unless he leaves the girl. Therese told that girl never to come by her house again because I told Randy the same thing. And I'm going to have your wife hanging around that girl. You're not working for Dog the Bounty Hunter. Dwayne called this morning and Teresa and it said we are not hanging around with that girl. So just like Dwayne Lee, just like you, if you hang around with that black girl, I do not want you in my house because it's already been proven that you run your mouth to her. That's it right there. 
So you just let me know. I got to go. What you're doing later? Bye. Oof. Yeah. Uh, Talk to you later. All right. That, that's a wonderful father right there. Huh? Yeah, ouch. Wow, the, I don't know who's all worse, the father or the son for selling the. Uh, yeah. I, I imagine Dog the Bounty Hunter uh, doesn't cry uh, when he watches Passion of the Christ. <laughs> I imagine he does. That sounds like a guy who does. There's probably a few movies he does cry at, though. I would, I, yeah, Roots because it got better. <laughs> <laughs> he hates the next generation. Right. It's all communist propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's probably a few he actually uh, sheds a tear over. So, what do you think of that, huh? Uh, he's done. A and E suspended the production of the show. Oh, did they? Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. They they uh, put out a statement saying they will you know, investigate. Right after we asked for the hypothetical situation, we have it. More people will boycott that than watched it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You you know you asked for a hypothetical and got a reality. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, now uh, I guess uh, Roy Innes came out and said uh, that he's uh, regardless of what he thinks he is, he's on television, so he's a role model. And um, I don't know what kind of role model he was before uh, this clip came out. I didn't see much there except for a, a big blonde mullet and a, a huge uh, obese wife. Uh, but he was a role model, so Roy Ennis said um, uh, he should be taken off the air. Roy Ennis is usually is fairly conservative, uh, uh, you know, from from core. Uh, but they're not they're yeah. not they're not typically like uh, like sharped in or or screaming for anything racial to be taken off the air. He's already scrambling to apologize. Uh, his right. apology was yeah. ridiculous. He's trying to find a, a, a bunch of black friends to start hanging out with. <laughs> yeah. Is that Byron Allen fighting for him? He's, he's eating Byron dinner at Roscoe's chicken and waffles tonight. <laughs> hey, Stephen S. from Bayshore, he writes, uh, Dog the Noose Nodder instead of <laughs> Dog the Bounty Hunter. He, oh, he, hey, where's the apology? I don't know. We have it. Waddle doodle. The apologize. I like the way he referred to himself as in the third person with his nickname in there. Too. Yeah, <laughs> he, he plugged the name of the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in a statement, the 54-year-old Chapman uh, said um, he has the utmost respect uh, and aloha for black people who have suffered so much due to racial discrimination and acts of hatred. I did not mean to add yet another slap in the face of an entire race of people who have brought so many gifts to the world, he said. Hmm. I am ashamed of myself, and I pledge to do whatever I can to repair this damage I have caused. Chapman said, my sincerest heartfelt apologies go out to every person. I have offended for my regrettable use of very inappropriate language. I'm deeply disappointed in myself for speaking out of anger to my son and using such hateful terms. And here it is. In a private phone conversation. Apology down the crapper. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, not as sincere when you say, hey, no one was supposed to hear this, Norton. <laughs> sorry, I made the paddle tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that pretty much blew the entire apology. That, that, that someone wrote for him. Like an entire publicist statement, then he's like, I just added something at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, pulling the hair out. No. I just added right. a line. Yeah, don't you worry about idiot. it. It's, it's going to be good, though. I added one line. <laughs> I'm totally sorry. I think it's really going to help me out. Oh. Yeah, this one's going to get me out of the jam up. I'm sorry I've offended a whole race of people, and then he penciled in, even though we told him not to date one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how, how many times have we been handed stuff like that? We're like, we we would never say this in this way. A statement. A statement. In a private phone conversation. And then Chapman said the clip was taken uh, out of context. <laughs> what? <laughs> what context? Oh, He's man. got a son. He doesn't want going out with a black chick uh, because they dropped the N-bomb all the time, and he didn't want the Inquirer getting a hold of it. There so she did, and the Inquirer got a hold of it. There yeah. is context. There's pure context. Yeah. It's all context. It's all context. <laughs> yeah. Well, we uh, we adjust uh, we we adjusted the uh, the the theme song for Dog the Bounty Hunter. It's quick. Here we go. Yeah. 
I remember that. Well, we're just trying to save his show. I he mean, you just got to change the theme song a little bit. He's done. <laughs> but it's frightening. Like, so done. It's I don't know. I mean, I guess it really is. It sounds bad, but I don't know why anybody cares what a guy does in his personal life when he's not like he's he's, he's his show is that he catches criminals A&E at gunpoint. I, no, I know they do, but yeah. it's like, why would anybody care? Yeah, A&E cares because they're, they're representing uh, the net. He's representing yeah. the uh, network. A lot of people are saying he's he's a bounty hunter in Hawaii, which is like you know give him give him one day in the uh, the uh, Brooklyn and uh, or the Bronx and uh, he'd be dead. Oh, is that where the show is? That yeah, show? yeah. Oh, yeah. It's based in Hav- Hawaii. Oh, I didn't know that either. He also said uh, I was disappointed in the choice of a friend due uh, not due to her race but her character. He said, however, I should never have used that term. Repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> Repeatedly. Every part of speech. <laughs> <laughs> Used it more than Michael Richards, I think. <laughs> he, I think he did. Uh, Chapman said he's meeting with his spiritual advisor, oh, Reverend oh, Tim Story, yeah, who is really black, oh, yeah. and uh, hopes to meet with other black leaders, So, uh, <laughs> as he says, so they can see who I really am and teach me the right thing to do to make things right again. I think in a gonna... private conversation. Of course. In another <laughs> private conversation. They'll teach him the right thing to do. Just give up your show and go away. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Jimmy the Greek. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Sounds a bit desperate. I know that all my fans are deeply disappointed in me, as well uh, as I have tried to be a model for doing the right thing. He said, I did not do the right thing this time and hope you will forgive me. He's looking for um, his forgiveness. Uh, what we worry is that maybe some of his fans... Aren't appalled by this? I that's, I would that's, assume that's the biggest horror. His it's entire some demo. Horror. I'm not sure the entire demo, but there is a fan or two that went, yeah, and that's what A and E's worried about. I bet. Yeah. I, no, I'm sticking with the entire demo. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna really go with that. No mitigation one. whatsoever. Right. Not a one. Okay. Uh, it is a great day uh, to be a radio talk show host because Fareed, who runs Citadel. Uh, yeah. Hired Imus officially, yeah, and Imus is coming back to radio. Yeah. I believe December third, a month from yeah. a month from tomorrow. Is the uh, first guest I hear is uh, the dog? <laughs> I have the dog on. They're gonna chat. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> That's very funny. How funny would that be? Would everyone would just be staring at their radio <laughs> like their what jaws the? drop to the ground? <laughs> Michael Richards and then the dog. <laughs> 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 we got an action-packed show today. A lot of guests. Yeah, Michael Richards, Let's Dog bring the in, Bounty uh, Hunter. Michael Richards and then uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter is going to come in, and uh, we're going to go over his phone call, and uh, I, I don't see what's wrong with it. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> see no problem with it. Uh, and then after that, we'll have... Son's Ant- a spoiled little brat. <laughs> after that, we'll have Anthony Cumia. Anthony will come on, uh, <laughs> give his opinions on um, uh, how he can... Um, just seem to point out uh, guilty people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter, an update on that? I, yeah, I just saw him on TV, and there was words. Whenever they show your picture in the top left-hand corner and a bunch of words, it's normally an apology quote. Yes. But I just didn't see what it was. Yeah, you know, it's never just, hi, how you doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, this guy's just stupid. Dog the Bounty Hunter is just stupid. He obviously throws the word around and has no problem throwing it around and all that. But why... If you have a hit TV show, would you like l- leave a message like this on anyone's machine? Well, it was uh, it, I, it wasn't a message. I, I don't think. I think it was his son because you kind of almost hear his son talk at the, uh, at the end. Oh, really? Are you I, kidding? I, I, I thought not... he left this as a message because the son wasn't there. We'll we'll have to listen again. I got it right here. You know what? Because he does say a private phone conversation. Yeah, conversation. Uh, you Wait, got his uh, son inside. Was on... His son was on the line the yeah. whole time? He was talking to his son, uh, yeah. telling him And his son was recording it, and then his son sold it to uh, the Inquirer. Did the son cut out his part? No. There's a, the stuff that's not there is not, is not uh, sensational stuff. Like, it's just his son is saying why, you know, that's not true. No, he just let is... dog go off. He yeah. let his old man just go off and hang himself. I he think might... on the last track that you have, you can kind of hear his son. All right, one track. He so, must have hated his father too. This is not just this. He must have been just really not liking his father. This is someone who's like uh, in love, and uh, his father wanted them to break up. And Have you guys ever watched the it. show? I couldn't get into it. No, no it was it was so over the top. Never watched just it. Yeah, over the top, dramatic for no real reason. You know, it was made to look dangerous through editing or something. Yeah, a fat lady. Who's afraid of a fat lady? Yeah.
Uh, wanted what, on warrants for traffic tickets or something. Does yeah. anyone know if, if his son was part of the show? Yeah. He was. Uh -huh. okay. That was part of the issue of the whole thing was to, to continue being on the show, he was to ditch the girlfriend. Right. And then if he wanted to keep the girlfriend, Dog was like, hey, I'll get you another job, but you can't work here because we throw the N-word around all the time. And, uh, you know, I am not ever, ever going to jeopardize what I worked for for 30 years, not ever, to lose it all because of some bleep. Yeah. Well, he lost it all. <laughs> yes, he did. I mean, A&E is kind of like uh, having a wait and see type. Oh, uh, uh, they're conducting comment. an internal investigation. Yeah, we know how that goes. Let uh, and let's play the uh, voicemail again or whatever the conversation, yeah. and then we'll give you your uh, dog the bounty hunter update. Okay. Yeah. I'm not taking a chance on some. I don't care if she's a Mexican, a whore, whatever. It's not because she's black. It's because we use the word. Sometimes here, I'm not going to take a chance ever in life of losing everything I've worked for for 30 years because some heard us say and turned us into the Enquirer magazine. Our career is over. I'm not taking that chance at all. Never in life. Never. Never. If Lisa was dating, we would all say you, and you know that. It is really frightening that a private conversation, like your your professional life, can be sunk by things you say in private. It's really, it's, and this yeah. is A and E is probably going to drop the show. They have to. They have yeah. no choice. But you know yeah. what? Hey, look at this stuff Snoop has said. Look at this stuff. It talks about gang killings and is a gang member. And what does he get? An AOL time uh, uh, endorsement. So it, it's like it's such phoniness. Yeah. The guy, yeah, the guy's a douche. But it shouldn't cost you your professional life, considering what uh, other guys are getting endorsement deals for doing. Mm -hmm. it's sickening. If Lisa brought a black guy home, yeah, that. And it's not that they're black. It's none of that. It's that we use the word. We don't mean you scum without a soul. We don't mean that. <laughs> but America would think we mean that. Oh, jeez. And we're not taking a chance on losing everything we got over a racial slur. Because our son goes with the girl like that. I can't do that, Tucker. You can't expect Gary, Bonnie, Cecily, all them young kids to because I'm in You know, all those people he just named? They all just... Hardcore racist. <laughs> <That, laughs> those guys, like... They're throwing the word around like uh, crazy. I would love to see the tattoos those guys are sporting. <laughs> American <laughs> History X tattoos. Oh, my God. <laughs> Confederate flags. You name it, man. Kids... Too, because I'm in love for seven months, I f that. So I'll help you get another job, but you cannot work here unless you break up with her. And she's out of your life. I can't handle that. Yeah, he's a douche. He is. Dog the bounty hunter's a douche. That's not as bad as I, as I'm telling you, man. I, it's just scary that that's going to cost him a gig, and it's a private conversation he had with his son. And it's like we, we're judging now your public thing by what you say to somebody in private. It's frightening. And where, where's all? I want to know where all the like the adv the uh, privacy advocacy yeah. rights people are. No one's going to get the same ones that this. complain when cops get too too many uh, powers to pull you over and stop you. No one will and, get behind this. And guy. the ACLU and all these people that complain about video Jeez. cameras being pointed at the street. Where are these people complaining that a guy's going to lose his gig over something this he said guy to his is, kid in private? Is going to be out there by himself, man. I know. This is some good old-fashioned, like, uh, Stalinism or something. It's like the, the kid turning in the parent yeah. like that. We'll give you the update. But destroying his life. Here's the last part of the clip that we have. Therese told that group never to come by her house again because I told Wayne the same thing. And I'm going to have your wife hanging around with that girl. You're not. That was the son, by the way, in the background trying to get a word in. How many of us have heard? Yeah. Uh, had these conversations, not the, Whoa, not the these exact conversations, no, no, not, not the subject matter, but uh, just the conversation where you can't even get a word in edgewise. <laughs> yeah, let me uh, make it perfectly clear. Come by the house again because I told Wayne the same thing. And I'm gonna have your wife hanging around with that girl. We are not working for Dog the Bounty Hunter. Dwayne called this morning and Teresa and said we are not hanging around with that girl. So just like Dwayne Lee, just like you, if you hang around with that black girl, I do not want you in my house because it's already been proven that you run your mouth to her. That's it right there. So you just let me know. I got to go. What you're going to do later, bye. You know, I didn't hear that yesterday when we played this. That He said it's already been proven that you run your mouth to her. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. He he ran right to her and said, look what I got. 
You know what it is, too? It's like, could he have announced who he was more? He named everybody on the show. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even like he could have said, hey, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Somebody, like, uh, imitated me. He now, just knew everything. Now, Tucker, we all know that I am the bounty hunter, and he just kept yeah. saying the name of the show, the time slot, the producer's name. I swear to God, I bet the, the mole on my shoulder that I... <laughs> 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 a tool. He, uh, he's a bit full of himself, huh? What a naughty boy. So uh, we got an update on this whole story that's breaking today? Uh, yes, yes. Television bounty hunter Dwayne Dog Chapman's son taped a private conversation in which uh, reality star used racial slurs repeatedly, then sold it to a tabloid for, quote, a lot of money, Chapman's lawyer said Thursday. Now they're positioning. Doing a little positioning, his lawyer. Uh, I guess because of whatever level of anger uh, he had of his father, he felt the need to express it in that manner. Attorney Brooke Hart told the Associated Press. Shows in its fifth season in one of A&E's top-rated programs. It has not been canceled, mm -hmm. but as we said before, they've uh, suspended production on it. Hart said that his client is not a racist. And vowed never to use the word again. <laughs> That's well, how That's is he going to go through life without saying again? <laughs> 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 that, uh, wow, that's a desperate man right there. Uh, I have never seen anything that suggests he judges people by the color of their skin or racial background or anything but on their character, he said. Dwayne lost his composure and made a very, very inappropriate uh, remark, remarks uh, for which he truly regrets. Well, boy, that is some spin. Yeah, good luck. The way he said it's it's like it, at the beginning of that tape when he goes, you know, we well, let me let me get my beep so I could uh, I could do it like that. He goes, now we use the word around here. He said it like like hey, you know, we, we drive Fords around here. Right. I'll be bringing a Chevy around. I like should. it was so. As a matter of fact, hey, we we use the word. Around here, as you're well aware. We yeah, you know the, that. We use the word around. Here. Now you're, you know. Right. You use the word around here. Yeah, we get it. That right there was kind of like it's just must always. All right, what's our suspect look like? Well, he's a. <laughs> no, no <laughs> kidding. No, man. it's just every time. No kidding. And then the story afterwards when they arrest him. Did you see the way that <laughs> ran? And yeah. we, I, I like maced him in the face, and you just know it. All right. Well. A&E is uh, thinking of bringing the show back in the very near future. They should. Why wouldn't and, they? Um, oh. they, uh, they just have to uh, redo the theme song. Yeah. This is definitely worth another play. God, am I stupid. I see you, I see you loading something. <laughs> oh, good. They should bring the show back. I really am mm. a fool. <laughs> what do you... They, why, they should bring the show back. Hold on. Oh, why are you loading that in? God, Larry I, Literal again. That, you're right. That, that's yeah. your character. Yeah. Larry Jim, Literal. Jimmy's new character, Larry Literal, is going to drive us all nuts. But, I didn't mean uh, to do that. And he's thinking of bringing the show back in the near future with a uh, slight adjustment. They just got to redo the theme song, Jimmy. I'm such a Jeez. <laughs>
immediately I've learned as, as I get older, I take, I try to understand the context. And I think if you, if you boil it down to what's wrong right now with us in, in terms of this whole problem we're having, communicating, yeah. context has been taken away. No yep. one tries to figure out, all right, come on, what did he really mean that? Imus was trying to be funny and he messed up. Now, Dog the Bonnie Hunt is different because there's so many different angles to this, like his privacy. Now, and 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 the and the parent code and the his code, like it, it, this situation with with Dog, it's like the chicken or the egg, man. It's like you you got to make a choice. Like I can't, like if my mother blew up a plane, a passenger jet, mm-hmm. I wouldn't snitch on her. I go, Ma, you blew up a plane? <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would try to make sure no one ever found out my mother blew a plane up. And it's, it's real. So the parent code is strong with me and my mother. But, you know, with hey, him... That's uh, really interesting. What would you uh, 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 bl- you know, uh, tell authorities about your mom? Absolutely what? not. Well, Nothing. if he, like, not I think thing. he picked the ultimate thing there. Yeah. Well, blown up. yeah, I tried to be as horrid as I could. <laughs> Nothing. How about she's... Um, you know, uh, diddling kids or something. No, oh, Jesus. Nope. I would tell no, on them for being well, too, too provocative. No, <laughs> but it is an interesting. I would try to stop her. But I would there, never tell my mother. There is an anything. interesting uh, thing uh, that you brought up here. Like there is a family code, it's like a parent code, what, it's a, code. a parent code or a brother and sister, yeah. brother to brother. But every once in a while on the news, you see like family members. Unabomber is a famous case of a brother turning into yeah. brother. Turning yeah. So, yeah. so that's the question. What would one of your family members have to do for you to actually go to the authorities and go, man? And my brother or my whatever. Nothing for my mom's. Uh, very little for my sister. I might snitch on my sister. She blew a passenger jet up. Here, here's where I draw the line. If if something happened where a close relative of mine did something where if if I found out about it, I'd have a chance of going to jail. Then I got a rat. Uh, I, ain't, self, I ain't going to jail. Preservation. Well, I am never going to jail I, I, for, for, for Ant, anybody else. Yeah, Ant's got to save himself. Right? I got to save my own. Uh, Very selfish. I ass, wouldn't take literally. a Jesus yeah. beating for my mother. Like I, <laughs> I might take a torturing, but not a Jesus beating. Like not one of go, those. Uh, not a passion, passion of the Christ. Christ. Yeah, because yeah. there's a, many a passion, of, a passion of some Christ of the Jesus beating. beatings look like he can handle it. <laughs> the yeah, like passion the, of the Christ. The old beating. school Charlton Heston movie Jesus yeah, gotta, beating didn't look too bad. You got to make it perfectly clear. Passion, passion of the passion Christ. Of the Christ yes, Jesus yes, beating. Because some Mel of these movies they, beating, yeah. they kind of. Yeah. Romanticized the thing. Wasn't that bad? bad it glossed didn't over. Didn't look too bad. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I probably wouldn't do that. But other than that, my mother could do anything because I know when I got in trouble, my mom's put me in the trunk of her car and sent me out of town mm-hmm. to make sure things <laughs> cooled down. Cool down. And I just would not snitch on it. But, but dog... See, here's the thing: is people, for the people upset. obviously he was a uh, mad dog at his son for dating a black woman because they like to use the N word around uh, the office, R- right? And of course, uh, the son, you know, ratted his dad out and, and sent the tapes to somebody, taped this conversation. Now, dog is screwed and he's going to lose his show. But there's a value of that. There's a value there that dog is missing. Like he broke the the code of accepting your kid for what he does he told his kid he, he, you can't love we are gonna you're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, ex, not excommunicate. W- excommunicate you from the family mm-hmm. because you're gonna marry this black girl or right. you're gonna be with this black girl and he stopped the code right there and another thing the value of being a complete racist in your own home all the time <laughs> it's like which, who you blame do you blame dog for being this foul and it and it goes down to his son because did he break the code and then his son broke the code like it's a it's a it's a very touchy thing man and now it's the privacy of his own home now he's apologizing for things he'll say in his house. One question is the, the mm. thing about the pri- the code with the parents. There's one part at the end of the call where he co- he says you've already proven that you run your mouth to her. <laughs> it's almost like I'm wondering if the kid kept going. To the girlfriend and saying, well, my father and all these guys say that, like, was the kid, like, he was worried the kid was going to continually tell the girlfriend that he said this stuff right. and get him taught. Context, man. It's like you have to get in. That's the thing. The context of the situation. Look, man, in the privacy, the do at least the honest thing he was saying to his son. And that's the thing. See, that's the thing that's killing everybody is like. I'm talking to my son. I talk to him. I'm like, look, man, you know these people. I, I call white people, dude. If I had a son, you call white now, people, dude. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. And I'm talking to my black son, and I'm going, look, man, these cracker blue eyed devils scorning the earth, man. How you going <laughs> to marry 
this dusty white woman. <laughs> She's a zombie. She they not look it. And then I saw him slides Baby of, powder of, face. of lynchings and I said, Look, you don't bring this white powdery piece of garbage into my house. <laughs> <laughs> and they, and it's still, I think I would go, I, I know I'm racist, but I'm not. See, here's the thing. I, I think you should be allowed to be racist. In you your want. own home, especially. Why are they trying to stop of me course. from being like, I don't need to like you. If he, he didn't say anything about like, listen, if you marry her, I'm going to take it down to the to the uh, basement gallows that I have. Yeah. <laughs> the basement or the, gallows. Or the guillotine that I have. Yeah, that, yeah. Where all the other Negro heads are. And I'm going to chop your Negro, um, your little nigglet uh, wife head off. Right. Oh. That's different. That's that's some other thing. But he's just in the, in the... And he's not dog the reverend. <laughs> and he's not dog the tickler. <laughs> he is a ex- criminal who hunts down the most vicious animals with mace and his fat wife <laughs> he can say he can be racial if he wants notice you didn't hear gun in there he's not allowed to have a gun he can't yeah. have a gun because he's a criminal a the dude felon. has this one of the worst ratty mullet, uh, mullet. mullet. It's more than a mullet. You know that guy's racist. But because he can't carry a gun, he has to use his fat wife as a distraction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His wife is just, just <laughs> a mess. A mess. Yeah, the Thank wife, you for saying He sends the wife finally. in first. She, the people go like, oh, it's like it's like a flashbang grenade. Right. He sends his wife in to stun the crowd, and then the rest can rush in. They think a talking pig has entered. They all stare for a moment, while, you know, flanks them. And and it's stupid to even say this because it's just not going to happen. But A and E should continue with the show. You want rating? Wrong. He blew it. He's done. He's he done. He's done. He's so now, done. I, I, but what? I, don't you think he should be allowed to continue? They, Why not? Just by what we were talking gonna, about, about, about corporations, it, dude. It, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. I understand that. To take that out of the equation. Do you personally feel like uh, the show should continue? I tell you what, no, because uh, I, I don't feel bad for him because he's, I wish I didn't find out. I, but he's a he's a dirty he's a racist. I and I, I don't feel for him. You know what? But I say, <laughs> I say he should be able to continue because that would be for that would be interesting TV to watch. Yeah, that's I, all. I, I, I don't give a crap it, about him as a person. It's my stupid TV. Obi, this one I don't is give strange. A crap about these people on TV. This one is strange because I can. It's it's just it's not a freedom of speech thing. It's like. It's insidious. I'm not this even, is the thing that white, that black people. It's almost like the Rodney King thing in a weird way. Is that black people just go, "This is how they all talk." Uh, <laughs> well, white people, do, white, white people do that too when we watch the news and stuff. We go, "Look, oh my God, why can't they just act like people and not commit yeah. all these crimes and stuff?" See, it works both ways. But I'm not saying we're it. all racist. And uh, you guys shoot. are all criminals. Yeah, that's it's the pretty much the, what everyone well, thinks. I'm, I'm not even talking about freedom of speech. I'm talking about just good TV watching. I'm like, then wow, now this is a show I would personally check out. And you know something? And, and I I feel I feel what you're saying. They're doing that with a yeah. lot of reality shows. They're starting to do background checks on these people, and if they have any anything ha that happened in their past, they don't want them on TV anymore. And those are the type of people I do want to see on reality shows. I want to see the, these uh, these ugly uh, personalities on TV. Here's a great way he could have spent this, and if he wasn't being phony. This is another thing, dog. If he's listening, here's what messes everybody up. This is what messes Michael Richards up. This is Pee Wee Herman. My thing is, look, I watch my girl got a kid, and I and and this kid Disney is as big of a thing as I've I've never seen anything bigger than Disney. It's like kids are like. Disney, whatever, <laughs> Raven Simone, and it, she knows every word to everything. And I'm like, look, I couldn't take a job at Disney because I know I have the propensity to do something wrong somewhere, somehow. I don't know how to live that life. I'm going to do something in a the movie theater. Me and my girl are going to sneak in the bathroom and do something. This guy knew he was a racist. He should have spent it like this. Added a character that stopped him from being racist. Like, all right, that... That Negro there, he lives there, and there's a couple of spicks up the street. A black character with him, you know. So, with somebody him. to go, dog, you can't say that word. Yeah. Oh, why? I mean, why? I'm just why? calling him in there. <laughs> I just called him a dirty spick. What is the wrong with that? I'm going to arrest this guy. He's going to shoot me in the face. I can't call him a spick. <laughs> And, and that would have destroyed anything that they could have did to him. But he was living a phoniness. 
and it's like he's like don't tell people how cold people and it's like you go you don't feel for him because he was being a phony yeah he had some kind of family values thing going yeah he blew that man yeah, he, he's yeah. a phony so Sean Hannity's gonna have Dog the Bounty Hunter on when uh, I believe on his radio show today at 3 o'clock radio show why not the TV I you think just, it, I think it's going into dope. he does both he does the radio and then the TV with the this same it's gonna be an and, apology fest or what what do you think what do you what do you predict oh yeah he's just gonna be a a babbling ass. So that's why he's our friend, though. Why would you say that? No, no. no. no I'm oh, 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 he scared me. <laughs> uh, and then he's going to be on Larry King tomorrow. That's going to be terrific. That'll be good for the, our show. The dog is here. Oh, dog the bounty hunter gets loud. I like your hairdo. Is that something new? Yes. Is that a mallet? <laughs> the the mallet. mallet. They call it the mallet. <laughs> uh, he needs one over his head. So why do you hate eggnog? <laughs> no, 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 Larry, you misheard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like dog the bounty hunter. Oh yeah, yeah. horrible. Yeah, but he's the first dog that ever killed itself. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine how good the sex was with that sister that she turned that the son turned her in? No, you gotta turn your man. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dad, you have to understand. Shanisha can make her ass clap. <laughs> had to turn her in. That's an angle we didn't uh, That's think very about. Funny. Oh man, but yeah, the son turning in. Turn your own dad. father in. Fifteen yeah. grand. I heard he got. I heard he got fifteen grand. Right? Fifteen thousand. But, but, but he wasn't he on the show with him? Yeah. yeah. So he, so he fucked himself up for 15 grand. Yeah. And I thought he obviously just hated his father's guts. That was just a way to stick it to, to but the But when a dude wear a mullet, don't you expect him to say, nigga? I mean, of like, course. Honestly, like, if you got a gun, a badge, and a mullet, nigga is the first thing you say, right? That's yeah. pretty much Well, he has no That's gun. That's pretty much it. He has no gun. He's well, a he felon. has mace. Yeah, people are surprised. He's a he's a felon that he's, ch he's chasing And he chasing other with felons? Without yeah, with a no gun. gun. He has no oh, gun. No. I didn't, I didn't know think he didn't have a gun. It. No one was surprised, though. I mean, when I heard the tape, I'm like, yeah, so? I'm glad they don't. You know what the thing about, yeah, when the white dudes they nigga and they make the news, we are we in the wrong society. This guy had it written all over him. I don't it's know. Not, not like, you know, some politician where it's like, oh, oh wow, that <laughs> right, slipped right, out. Right, I... right. Did you hear what Lieberman said? Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Nothing like that. But uh, Every day, I'm sure the dog was just blurting that and out. And he said, I don't want her to think. that The, the whole tape was, <laughs> oh. I said, and I don't want her to ruin my And how it's like, it'll shit. never happen. Right. Never happen. As it's happening, mm -hmm. he's saying that. And he's quoting like Martin Luther King saying, it's the content of her character. Right. Yes. He actually right. used the content of her character. Right. Line. <laughs> but the, the, the thing I don't get is like, all of us say stuff that we hope nobody hears us say. Yeah. That if we're made public, we would look like the worst people in history. Yep. Like, if my son came home with a white woman, my wife would have something to say about it. She wouldn't just, she wouldn't just, would like, be congratulations? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say congratulations. <laughs> you know what's interesting yeah. about that? Uh, she would, man. She'd say something like, I, I want to be there when my son knocks off his first white woman. That's a joy for me. The prize. But see, you know what's interesting? You bring up a good point. It, it does work both ways ways yeah like black like parents are, are uh, some uh, you can't talk for everybody they, they're not happy when their son Let or daughter brings something. home someone if, white if i dated a like my mother used to say i'm not lying if she can't use our comb don't bring her home <laughs> <laughs> no not, way. i am not i shit you not <laughs> no and way. i'm just I, what, and i'm not like uh, I'm, not, I'm not advocating anybody but i think that you know <laughs> here's the deal we all say bullshit let's let's at least stop being shocked right when somebody says some shit that you feign surprise at yeah like the fact that a dude that runs people down mm -hmm. and chases felons of course he uses that word it, of course say, he does the n-word I right. just don't get it it's right. frightening that your private conversations even though the guy's obviously a horse's ass but right. it's, it's frightening that your private conversations can sink you I guess but hasn't it always been that way maybe it has no. been no I mean they caught you on tape saying something or if you were caught yeah but that's because we're such a voyeuristic society now that everybody like it's shit that I shouldn't know about you like, can I hate people from the privacy of my own home? Apparently not. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta watch that people aren't taping you. That, that's what. I'm, and but, but the, the the idea that now all of a sudden there is one way that we're supposed to act, and that you mm -hmm. know, and I'm not, and honestly, I'm not advocating everybody go out and say whatever they, you know. But but I think that there's so much anger now because people feel like they can't even have an honest to goodness reaction. Yeah. Like I, 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 you know, I think censorship is bad, but I think self censorship is the fucking worst. Like yeah, I better not say this, cause, but I think that that's why we so like f so f fucking fragmented as society, cause everybody goes, well, if I say this, they'll think this. Yeah, the mo the more we uh, try to uh, protect everybody against right. what we're saying, the more fragmented the whole country becomes. In just a few moments, uh, I think we're gonna start talking about Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh. Doug. What an idiot. How, how bad does this guy want to uh, save his TV show?
Uh, he's trying. Did he actually say he he made plans to be buried with slaves? Yeah. That's how sorry he is. Yeah, like like black people want him buried with slaves. <laughs> it's he's ridiculous. He has no clue, and he finally uh, realizes he's not a black man. What do you, what does that mean? I don't know, but he said it. What he thought he could say the word because he thought he might have a little uh, black blood in him. I don't know what the context was. Just Maybe was, we'll find out. Yeah, I think he thought he was uh, had a good enough relationship with the black community. Right. Well, it, uh, this was all on Sean Hannity's show yesterday. We got some of uh, the highlights. We're going to get it on after the break. But uh, yeah, uh, the big highlight: he wants to be buried with slaves. That's how sorry he is for using the N word. Right. And uh, they canceled the show, and <laughs> and it's called the reality show. I mean, isn't this reality? Yeah. He should have done it on the show, though, instead of in his, like, house. I don't understand any of these logic. There's got to be a way to spin this and go, look, this is a reality show, that, you know, and sometimes reality is a bit on the ugly side. Because the, the ratings for this show now, I, I barely watch the show. I can no. care less. But now, after knowing what I know, I would definitely check out Dog the Bounty Hunter. And see if he brings up any uh, words, see if he arrests uh, uh, black people differently. Right. They did yeah. actually cancel it? Uh, it's it's yeah. They said it's canceled indefinitely. Yeah, which means uh, canceled. But then don't call it a reality show because reality is not just nice reality. Reality mm. is you know, it runs the gamut. They it don't should want show somebody. the ugly. It should show the ugly side of human nature if you're going to call yourself a reality show. So is this the next version of the white guy apology tour? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. It just gears up and heads to a city near you. <laughs> White person will say something stupid, grovel, and nothing will matter. White dummy in front of a camera. But he actually said he's so sorry that he made arrangements to be buried with slaves. Yeah. How effed up is this guy? The the boys are in the uh, the other room just cutting this up, laughing their asses off. They're like, this guy's insane. He's yeah, he's a crazy man. He's crazy. He's just it's the only gig he's ever going to get. Though, what, what is he going to parlay this into? I know he actually got lucky. Doing what he does and and being successful on on a television show. Now what? He's in in Hawaii doing a reality show, and yeah. uh, there's nowhere to go from here. No, no. of course not. That I'm was everything jail. for him. Hey, uh, Doug the Bounty Hunter. So he was on our our pal um, Hannity's uh, radio show. Yeah, and Doug, also, uh, Doug. Doug screwed up. And he also did uh, Hannity and Combs yeah. on TV. And Combs. Uh, dog asked for forgiveness. This guy is a uh, cuckoo. All uh, white people on the apology tour just look silly. If you're white and you uh, screw up, you say something uh, a little uh, racial, uh, you can't go on TV shows all over the place and start apologizing. I hear he's doing Larry King tonight. Tonight? That would I be great can't TV. wait. I already DVR'd that one. I'm in. <laughs> oh, I am so in. I am so in to... to to, to that one. What do you got over there, Ant? Oh, nothing. I was just, uh, I'm very psyched about the Larry King thing. <laughs> oh, okay. So how important is the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was pretty important. <laughs> the dog. You, so what did you say? Would you ever goof on the... <laughs> or the... <laughs> or the... <laughs> or the... <laughs> <laughs> you consider yourself a black man. You want to be buried in a slave's uh, a cemetery. What would your tombstone say? Here lies a <laughs> hater. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to hear this guy. Let's, we got to get into this a little bit. Larry, stand by, okay? Right. Uh, Dog explains that he now knows what we means and says he will try not to say the N-word again. Try. Listen to this. Good luck. I use the word. My little baby is eight. And she came to me and said, Dad, we don't say that. No, and a lot of times, liar. A box. You know what? She didn't. I, can't, I, it, I, I got goosebumps. <laughs> is he is he moving you that much? <laughs> is there a is there a person alive that is believing this? I think that that kid walked in there and and dog had an epiphany. The youngster straightened him out. See, it's the children, I, the I, innocent, I, that will teach us. Shut up. I I think uh, his child, that was probably one of the first 10 words he used. Probably. Absolutely. <laughs> Look, he said it, honey. <laughs> all Look, proud. Yeah, he kissed his cheek. <laughs> you know, the white man is embarrassing all of us. Mm -hmm. Who is buying this crap, dog? Just go away. Don't try to talk ghetto. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, sorry. Listen to Got this. Got the subject. 
The kid actually came up to him and said, Daddy, we don't use that word. Daddy, we don't use that word. Where, right. where would an eight-year-old growing up in a house that just probably throws it around like the uh, come up all of a sudden and say, Daddy, we don't use that word? By African-American, the kid meant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the word equal. <laughs> Come up with a few uh, examples yourself out there. What is the kid talking about here? Uh, I use the word. My little baby is eight. And she came to me and said, Dad, we don't say that. And a lot of times a boxer's in the ring and he does a good job. In the interview right after, he says, we knocked him out. And I always think, what do you mean we? You just was in there by yourself. I know what we means now. To you. I've you and the eight-year-old lock someone out? What does that mean? I don't yeah, get what, it. What, what does it mean? We, he's making no sense. So, all right, so he's dropping N-bombs on the phone. He gets <laughs> caught, and he learns what we means more than one person. <laughs> I'd love to see a lesson well learned. And his little eight-year-old is trotting in, teaching him lessons. Stupid kid. Daddy, get a haircut. You look like an idiot. Yes. <laughs> Dad, you look like one of the way outs. You... <laughs> what word is that, honey? Mullet. We don't use the word mullet. And gun on a felon. We don't use that either. And how about fat wife? We don't use that word around the house. <laughs> God almighty, enough already. New season. Those are words we don't use. <laughs> Box set. Other words. Job. Eating. <laughs> Yeah, I think the kid would have told him, Daddy, there's not a person alive that has the same haircut as you. <laughs> what are you doing? It really is awful. The way outs. Wow, Jimmy. Yep. Thank you. I say wow to that one today. I've used the word for a long time not to mean what it does to a lot of black people oh. that are offended. I will try never, ever, ever to use that word again. Oh, my God. Try. At least he said try. try. Most people say, I will never use that word again. I'll try. Um, I, unless, you know, some <laughs> comes up to me, <laughs> wants to give me some <laughs> I'll call him a <laughs> I bet you he used the word after he left the studio. Of course he did. Said, Stop. Didn't we learn from Imus? That ought to hold those <laughs> for a while. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. That's right. Yeah. Before he said, look, I promise to never, ever use that word again, unless, of course, I'm watching a sporting event. <laughs> <laughs> and I have money on the game. <laughs> then it's acceptable. <laughs> I love this guy. Stop with the apology tour. It doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, he's no done. one's believing you. Everyone knows you're just trying to save your TV show. Makes you look silly. You, sometimes you just got to realize uh, there's nothing you can do to save it. You're done. I uh, you're I done. see this playing out um, like this. I say the dog yeah. takes that mullet of his, mm -hmm. wraps it around his neck, and hangs himself. Wow. Imagine him hanging himself by his own mullet. This guy is done. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll cut his mullet off to show that he's a good person and donate it. Like, you know, they have, they have cancer oh, yeah, hospitals and yeah. you donate your hair? That's yeah. good. Maybe he'll donate his and no one will want it. <laughs> no one will want the dog's hair. No one. All right. Here Maybe we Leaf Garrett in the late 70s <laughs> will take the back part of it and the front part he can just throw out. <laughs> uh, here's uh, more dog from Hannity and Combs. Mm -hmm. I thought that I was cool enough in the black world to be able to use that word. <laughs> now, that's something I can relate to, Anthony. I can't, because um, where is this black world? <laughs> is it a doppelganger Earth on the other side of the sun? <laughs> the, on the black world. Half the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, Pink Floyd sang about it. <laughs> I, uh, I can relate to that statement. Well, yes, you, you did something. You had a little racial faux pas well, I was, as you were growing up. I was 15 at the time. And you do think if you're hanging out with a lot of black people that you could kind of talk their language. No, you don't. And you, and if you're like me, you learn the hard way when you're knocked out cold on a basketball court mm -hmm. with a chipped tooth that maybe you're not allowed to say that word. You shouldn't say it. Even if you if you meant no harm by saying it. Even though uh, you used it to tell the kid that he... Uh, he uh, just shot a really nice three-pointer. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter. I, uh, I, I went to um, Central Islip uh, Public Schools yeah. growing up at one point when we had to move every six months because uh, Dad couldn't keep a vending machine job. Thanks. Well, because Daddy was an alcoholic. Well, of course he was. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if he, didn't, uh, if he didn't steal enough change from the uh, vending machines that month, uh, we had to move. 
So uh, we went to the uh, beautiful Central Islip, which uh, eh, around the country, if you want to know what Central Islip is like, just look for a neighborhood that has the intersection of uh, MLK and Malcolm X Boulevard. There, you got it in your head. That's where I lived. And uh, I never once thought I could ever use that word in any context whatsoever, so I didn't. There were kids that would come up and go, give me, give me 50 cent. And, and you gave him 50 cent. Yeah, I think uh, the difference, I, uh, I was brought up a way, way more naive than you. Yeah. You, like, understood the community. Oh, you should have my first. parents then for a little while. Right. I understood the community at six months old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Subliminally, I think. I didn't have any. I was being force fed. <laughs> I didn't have any interaction with, uh, with, uh, um, uh, <laughs> with, I, with with African Americans? No, until I was in junior high, I had no clue what they were about until junior high. Really, I'd I'd I'd, I'd see you know African Americans and whatever they just looked different to me. I didn't know. They were just, I didn't know any better. They were just called black people back. Sure, then. black people. So Afro American. So I I didn't have any interaction with them uh, with them un, until I was in junior high. Yeah, and then I I made a lot of friends because I played a lot of basketball and uh, you know the legendary story. This was in high school now when I was like. Uh, Do they call you the White Shadow? The White Shadow, yeah. <laughs> little Ken Howard, yeah. <laughs> young Opie growing up on hair. I believe I team. I believe I actually was sixteen and we were playing a pickup game and I I was pretty much the only white kid on the court. Maybe one other, maybe two. Tops. Then, then you were picking up your teeth, which is oh yeah. And then my the teammate, pickup game. my teammate had. Yes. A, <laughs> sorry, the image is great. My team, my teammate had a fine three pointer swish. Mm -hmm. He shot a tray. He was gay too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I misunderstand sports lingo. And I turned to him and I said, nice shot. <clears throat> because right. everyone else was saying exactly that on the basketball court as we're yeah. running up and down. And before the word uh, completely left my mouth, I was uh, I was on the basketball uh, court. And well, the rest of his oh friends boy. said the same thing. Nice shot. <laughs> and everything was fine. And then it was awkward, and then I had to kind of maybe uh, leave the game uh, yeah. Uh, because, yeah, I was in no shape to continue playing. Did you continue with the friendship? or? Yeah, actually, I did. Really? Did you ever talk about it? Did you ever say, why did you punch me in the face? Yeah. No, it was, uh, it was understood oh, immediately. It was. Why would you be friends with that douche after he slugged you when he knew you didn't mean anything? It wasn't him. like we were... It wasn't like we were friends like going over to each other's house, but because I played a lot of basketball, we ran in the same circle. So it was it was a little weird after that, but it was all right. Did he ever apologize for punching you in the face instead of going, hey? No. Oh, no, it shouldn't be. Well, you were right. Apology. Then. So here we go. <laughs> so as we uh, listen to this clip, I kind of understand from my youth what this is about. I thought that I was cool enough in the black world to be able to use that word as a brother to a brother uh, I'm not uh, I've always taken pride to be the white guy that can talk to the black people that can refer to them truly as a brother from a different oh, mother uh, <clears throat> but this is America and this is entertainment and that doesn't fly there uh, wow the brother wow. from another mother uh, yo wow uh, Word. How embarrassing is this? Word to your mullet. This is <laughs> this is this is awful. How embarrassing! He is, is a this? babbling like just I I idiot. <laughs> I can't even think of a good enough word. Who's gonna go to jail with you now if you pull them over? Who? <laughs> Shut up! Just drive away. Buff. Over that. Yeah. Instead so, of saying my kid should be shot because he's a drug addict who recorded his father and sold it to the Inquirer. <laughs> yeah. His father's a boob, but the kid sucks too. Yep. Well, when we get back, uh, we got him talking about how he wants to be buried with slaves. That's how sorry he is. Uh, we got the official apology. Uh, dog talks about visiting George Washington's house and seeing where the slaves were buried. Oh my God! <laughs> visiting George Washington's house. This guy doesn't know what to do. He, is, I, I would love to see the meeting that he had with other people to pitch ideas on how to salvage this. All right, uh, George Washington's house. Uh, bury me with the slaves. Uh, I'm going to talk about how I was a brother from another mother. 
<laughs> guy's an idiot. He's just doing anything that he thinks connects him to eat collard greens. All right, good, 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 good. <laughs> All collard greens. Next, what, what else? Yeah, we know a little bit about this. When you mess up, uh, you go into damage control uh, mode. Yeah. And then they start suggesting just crazy, Stupid whacked ideas. out things to try to get you out of the, uh, the situation you're the in. The dog wants black people to throw pies at his face. <laughs> <laughs> linger, linger. Yeah, well, for years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> linger for years linger for that for one. Ten years for that one. Let's get back to Dog the Bounty Hunter on Hannity and Co. Great. Speaking of greatest hits. Yeah, where were we? Uh, uh, we got, uh, <laughs> we got. The greatest hits of his apology tour. <laughs> <laughs> Dog is on Hannity and Combs last night. He's going to be on Larry King tonight, and he's just groveling and just looking like an idiot. He really is just looking like an idiot. Just shut your mouth and hope for the best. When I'm None of this is going to work for you. When I miss apologize, we're like, ah, come on, don't apologize. And he did, all right, whatever. But at least I miss, I didn't wish he didn't have to, but he kept his dignity. He was still... He was just a subdued eye. This yeah. is, I thought I was one of the brothers. What are you doing? Dude? Yeah. Yeah, we play that the before brothers. the break. What he thought he doing? could use the word because he thought he was one of the brother from another mother. He yeah. actually yeah. said oh, he actually said that. Getting choked up. He said dog dog thought he was cool enough to use the N word. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here's the next clip. Uh talking about his son, Tucker, right? Yeah. His son started this whole uh I was gonna controversy. say you gotta be like Quentin Tarantino to be cool enough to say that. Exactly. And, and you got to be in a movie does at the say, time. Does it say dead son's girlfriend drop off in the set anyway? <laughs> <laughs> but his son uh, started the controversy by taping the conversation he was having with Dog about his black uh, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here's uh, where Tucker comes in. I was in prison in Texas Department of Corrections. I named Tucker, Tucker D. Chapman, TDC. Because in my life, I had to have something take over that TDC, Tucker, or Texas Department of Corrections. So I thought, this is the son that I will have, that I will be a good guy for and never go back to prison. I couldn't name him prison, but it was kind of like naming there's a song with Johnny Cash, you name your voice Sue. It was kind of like that I was in back then when he was born. What is he talking about? <laughs> he, he really is a moron. I couldn't name him prison. <laughs> I couldn't name him prison. C could I? Could I have named him prison? Oh, gee. How about Should have named him prison. How about Sodomy Jr.? That would have been a nice name. <laughs> and Hannity was just sitting there last night going, I got gold. Yeah, this is great. Hannity didn't need to talk. Just let this guy continue just babbling about nonsense. What adult. So the kid's initials equaled the Texas Department of Corrections. Right. So he uh, was then able to uh, look at the kid. I don't even know what he's saying. My son prison, and this is my daughter, black fist in my face. <laughs> um, and this is uh, my other daughter, dirtbag guard, <laughs> and a snitch with a, th a throat cut, my other, my nephew. Don't forget uh, Shank. Yeah. Here comes Lousy Screw. Yeah. Come yeah. here. <laughs> my God, Lousy Screw. All right, uh, more on Tucker and why he did this. Or maybe we don't get the answer. Okay, and, and how much did it, they pay your son for this? Uh, well, I think they gave him fifteen thousand dollars. That's alleged rumor. Righteous Why bugs. did your son do this to you? You know, I don't know. I mean, I guess I would say I've been to prison, and I wouldn't do this to my father. I don't know why he would do it, unless that you know there's some kind of habit or something he needs the money habit for. Drugs. Well, absolutely, drugs. That's the oh. reason he went to prison in the beginning. Oh my God! Oh, he kind of like, hey, he's on drugs. I'm such a great dad that no one would do this just out of, you know, the fact ah. that he bashed the girlfriend. Ah, oh, my son. Well, you know, he needed the money for dope. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't see uh, the holiday season being very festive at Dog's house. It's gonna be very awkward. Yeah. I don't see the gifts being exchanged between him and Tucker. We're talking about Thanksgiving at Thans. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, sorry, Than. Uh, oh. Dog and Tucker mm -hmm. or Than and Mother? Who do you think has a worse relationship? I would have to go with Than and Mother. Than and Mother? How's Mother, Than? Than, what do you think? Well, it sounds like at least they talk. <laughs> well, yeah. <he's... laughs> or did. It's true. You guys don't even have the opportunity uh, to take each other, so. No. And I'm... There would be, there could be tape. She's not a public figure, so I'm right, super right. Older, the same standard. And, and the way he refers to his son's girlfriend is the way mother refers to fans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do we have a mother update? No. Uh, Thanksgiving coming up. Getting there. Yeah. Will Will you be in the same uh, place as mother? No, I decided this would be the first uh, year 
that I actually go to my girlfriend's family. I'm going to try a new family. The new, you're just going to try <laughs> honing in on a new family there. That's good. I'm going to the bullpen for a, yeah. that works. Some, some relief <laughs> a relief family. family. Yeah. That's pretty fun. That works. Yeah. All right. So, kind of uh, cool. Yeah. I'm sure my you, you brother and his new nephew will understand. Oh. Yeah. You know what yeah, that see means? Those other family. That means you guys got to do. What? Did you push the fear out, Jimmy? No, I did not. Oh, no. Someone pushed the fear out. I oh, did. That means God. God. Yes, uh, Patrick Duffy. Oh, my God. Just stop me in my tracks. Did you? No. Iraq. You, you pushed the, the fear oh, out. Someone before? did. Who Wasn't pushed me. the fear out? Are you, Jimmy? No, no, I promise you. I'll tell you. Wasn't me. No, I think you're actually... Wasn't me, man. Maybe it's my food pocket acting up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you're caught with your own... Your own uh, Damn food your pocket. Own dumpster food pocket. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's got some rotting sausage and cannoli in it. <laughs> I just know that bothers me. I love saying oh, food pocket. No one likes your food pocket. <laughs> no, I, what I was going to say, that means uh, if you do Thanksgiving with her family, she's got to do Christmas with, with your family. Is that That's when off? they're going to take notice and go, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Who's going to notice? Mother and, oh, okay. and, and everyone else when you don't show up for Christmas either. Now, oh, what okay. about uh, the rest of the family? Because this is kind of a sacrifice. So you get away from mother, but I'm, do you have other family there that's going to be there that, that you would like to see? Yeah, but also since my parents are divorced, uh, we have mom Christmas and dad Christmas. So oh. I'll at least get to attend dad Christmas. All right, that's good. Yeah. All right, let's get back to dog. There's your mother update. Not much today from Than. We'll get into the, that a little, <laughs> a, a little deeper on a sorry on a future Opie and Anthony show. Here we go. More dog the bounty hunter on Hannity and Combs. Uh, well, dog says he used uh, he used to use the N word as a greeting. Really? Is this a word you use with regularity throughout the years? And now only in the last four days have realized five days that it's wrong to use. I was sitting in a studio when the other person used the word. But did you use it regularly? I, not that regularly. Only probably as a greeting to a black person where they'd come up, hi, my end dog, and I'd be like, stick my head in, in his chest, hi, man, how you doing? I wouldn't turn around and say hi and use it out loud because I'm going to get beat up. But I use it as a, when I meet a brother and we shake and we say, how's it? That's how it is. It's not a degrading thing at all. Oh, Jesus. I can't, <laughs> I can't look at other white people. Oh, Jesus. No, no. Jesus. The, the, he, does he understand the context he used this in on that recording? Because right. it has nothing to do with how he's greeting people or it's not a um, uh, a joke. It wasn't some kind of, you know, yeah, it was a, a personal phone call, but it did get out. And he was using it as, I don't want my son going out with one of them. And uh, you, you will not be involved in the show if you do. <laughs> But to show you where we're at with racial stuff, like the fact, that, first of all, it's not illegal to be racially inappropriate at home. No, it's not. Uh, but isn't it funny that Alec Baldwin says horrific things to his 12-year-old, and that's like, eh. But this guy, because he used racial terms, his career is over. Yeah. Both in private conversations, mm -hmm. both leak to the media. One is going to survive and continue to thrive. And, survive. And one is finished. 30 Rock. Yeah. Well, I mean, but him, him, him is a career upset. Before the writer's strike, anyway. don't don't use yeah. racially inappropriate terms. Well, this is uh, this next clip is just beautiful. It's uh, dog says he uh, thought he was black too. I thought he was. No, he doesn't. I don't. I don't believe that that ha it couldn't be that awful. <laughs> he is desperate. <laughs> you said you you. This is how you would greet. You told me privately, Snoop Dogg. Is that true? Yes, exactly right. I mean, and but mm -hmm. you, I mean, you just can't walk up and say hi. You know, you get right. hit in the mouth. But when when a, a brother says that to you first, or you realize that there's there's a special connection a brother. that I thought I had between me and Black America, and I used to say I'm black too. In other words, I my whole life have been called a half breed, a convict, king of the trailer trash, this and that. I take that and stand. So when I stood there and said, I kind of know what you feel like, because mm -hmm. I've been there too. Oh. That I felt that I could embrace and like as brothers or um, even as a black woman say the word. I you can't. I now like learn. A black woman. I'm not black at all. <laughs> <laughs> How'd your oh. parents die? Black people, it's okay to uh, laugh. Oh, laugh. That's Please laugh. Oh. Please laugh. Point at the radio. Jeez. Point and laugh at the radio. And just laugh at stupid whitey. I now know. 
Wow. He was confused. Oh, my God. He's just babbling. They call me convict, half-breed. Half-breed? Half-breed for what? For what? Half-breed. Looks pretty yes. white to me. Of course he does. Yeah, he's all white. With that blonde mullet. What, yeah. what is he? Half bodybuilder, half wham video. <laughs> 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 have way out. <laughs> Go back to the way out. <laughs> Do we have a little way out music? Boy, if you pull that one out of your, uh... I think yeah, I think E Rock might have some way outs. Uh, Jimmy pointed out that he might be part of the way outs. This uh, dog, the bounty hunter. Oh, he's awful. No, look at the pressure. Look at E Rock under pressure. Oh, he's awful. He's great. I love how he just babbles to himself. Hamna, hamna, hamna. As he's uh, heating up over there. Ed Norton. One and two. There's a place where I can go. Oh, yeah. That's where I wanna be. I'm saying tell me about the youth of sleep, for I found a place for me. To the black world. Yeah. That's where they were going. All right, listen, uh, after the break, uh, we got the big uh, apology from Dog the Bounty Hunter on Hannity and Combs last night. It's terrific. And then finally, we'll get into the part where he talks about how he wants to be buried with slaves. That's how sorry he is. Yep. It's uh, uh, some amazing clips, uh, thanks to uh, Sean Hannity. All right? Very good. All right. Anything else you want to do before the break? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Wow. Very I, I must have been good. Very sick. I must have been him? good. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, no, I'm not kidding. Are you kidding me? Boy, I really am good. I thought I had something on you. Nope. I was ready to say, wake up and do your job. And, but nope. you got to turn around and say, wake up to me. I'm on the mother. Are yeah. you kidding me? He yeah. Did it. Oh, yeah. Clear as a bell. Mm hmm. I got to know when now. <laughs> Take me. Listen to the replay. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah. Tear probably, down a wall for me. Only three minutes ago. Like right uh, over, um, it was right after uh, the clip of Dog saying that he was um, knew now that he wasn't black. There was some laughter, and in that laughter, boom. Are you kidding? Nope. All right. I there it was. I knew that was a good spot. Look at me getting a little mad. Like, dude, fit the sound. Oh, no. In. See, we tear down the wall for you here on the <laughs> Opie and Anthony show. We'll continue. Stay there. Hey, uh, more Dog the Bounty Hunter? A little bit more. All right, here we go. So now we get up to Dog apologizing on uh, Hannity and Combs last night, trying to save his his, uh, his uh, TV career. Mullet. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get into octopus uh, baby uh, next there, Jimmy. Yeah. Just bothering everybody, this thing. Stop showing it like we think it's cute. Uh, All right, here we go. Uh, the dog apologizes. Of course, all black people in America, I owe an apology to. Whether how dark I think I am, I cannot say that word. I owe the rest of the people, whether they're black or not in America, an apology because people look up to me. I've learned a lesson. All my lessons I've learned in my life have been the hard way. Or guess, I guess I wouldn't learn them. This is one of the hardest lessons I've ever learned in my life, even facing death. If I could kill myself and people would forgive me, I would do that. Uh -huh. Oh, idea. Oh, idea uh, for a right. new TV show. I dropped the end bomb. I should shoot myself. That's not getting carried away. No. That's a very good solution. If I could kill myself... <laughs> And be forgiven. Oh, my he God. Would, he would do that. Black people, do you hear this? This could do be the hear greatest how, moment ever. Get how, a petition going. We forgive. How bad Whitey has gotten. How many black people could we get to sign a petition saying that we forgive Dog the Bounty Hunter if he kills himself? If he kills himself. Oh, my God. This is our, our, our next bit. Oh, it's staring us right in the face. That is the most ridiculous statement ever. He absolutely doesn't mean that. And a little uh, a little while ago, I did say that this is going to end with him hanging himself with his own yeah. wallet, so I might not be too far off. In uh, Caligula, there's a great <laughs> scene where Caligula's very sick, and someone's trying to curry favor with Caligula, and he's kneeling by the bed, and he goes, I would gladly give my life if Jupiter would just heal you. And then the Caligula sat up and went, Jupiter accepts! <laughs> And the guy's like, um, and ah. he took the guy away to kill him. <laughs> he, he I love that. Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of like a moment like that. Jupiter accepts. <laughs> you forgot that you he could be the spokesperson. For <laughs> I 
<laughs> wow. Well, we got to get the black people to start signing a petition, man. Yeah. Basically, you, you have to state that you will accept his apology if he kills himself. Yeah. Like, how great is this? Let's call him out on this. Let's get he, this going. How now? Now, how did Sean black Hannity, people start making your YouTube videos? I will forgive Dog the Bounty Hunter if he kills just himself. Just kill yourself. But play the clip first, then show you saying I forgive. Yeah. Let's call him out on this. He said he would gladly. Wait, I got to hear that again. Of course, all black people in America, I owe an apology to. Whether how dark I think I am, I cannot say that word. I owe the rest of the people, whether they're black or not in America, an apology because people look up to me. I've learned a lesson. All my lessons I've learned in my life have been the hard way. Or guess, I guess I wouldn't learn them. This is one of the hardest lessons I've ever learned in my life, even facing death. If I could kill myself and people would forgive me, I would do that. I said on the way here, I hope no one died thinking I meant that word before I got here. <laughs> he's, he's hoping, yeah, nobody died. What a pompous right, ass because people look up to me. No one's dying with you, you on their lips. Yeah, I can't believe dog is a racist. <laughs> I beg A and E to continue production of Dog oh, the Bounty please. Hunter. I would watch every single episode. I would buy the box set. I would study every episode. The guy's adult. It's a reality show. Show the ugly side of reality. Continue with this yeah, thing. Show this groveling idiot. Idiot is r absolutely right. People would watch that just to laugh at him. You, yeah. If black people want retribution for what he said, what? is more satisfying than watching this boob <laughs> humiliate himself and grovel. Do you understand? This is the the equivalent of crawling on his hands and knees with a hog in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's oh, pretty much what he's doing. It has begun. Lewis? Yeah? You are a black uh, gentleman, are you? Yes. All right. And you're from the Bronx? Yes. Okay. What do you got? I... I will forgive Dog if he hangs himself by his mullet, just like you said. <laughs> All right. We have our first one. That is the first uh, black man uh, that wants to get in touch with Dog and let Dog know that he will forgive him if he kills himself, how and many, hopefully by hanging himself with his mullet. How many black gentlemen do we need to make this happen, you think, Lewis? I don't know the black community. I don't know how this stuff works. Uh, how many do we uh, officially need, you think? Uh, two. Two. <laughs> Two. All right. All right. We're looking for one more black guy. <laughs> I just want to say I love you guys. I love the show. I listen every morning on the way to school. Uh, thank thank you, you, my uh, uh, thank neighbor. You. Thank you, my listener. Thank you, yes. my listener. And I want to thank apologize you. to Boston that we put a black guy on the radio. I'm sorry. We'll, <laughs> we'll be uh, more careful in the future. All right. Thank you, Lewis. All right. Thanks, man. <laughs> we... Uh, we move on to Dog. Uh, now he gets to see a video of Tucker, his son's uh -huh. girlfriend, for the first time. He's never seen this girl. Really? That he was talking all kinds of S about. Ooh. And he's just brilliant last night. He's great. I believe that Dwayne is a racist because I've heard many times what he says about me not just this one time but a lot of things he says and a lot of things he does i want to take this moment out to say that i've never been in any trouble so i really don't get you judging my character you've never met me i have never met her she's a cute little girl i didn't know that i didn't never know what she looked like uh. Well, you have an opportunity tonight. You, you started to talk to her earlier. You want to say anything to her? You want to well, I like this. You know, I, I, I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. I'm not like that. You know that. I'm no. Sorry. Oh, I have it. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, is he groveling? I think this guy really likes being on TV. He lost his mind. He's and awful. loves that people know who he is. Oh, Wow. Joe Piscopo looks like George Pataki. That's Piscopo? Yeah. yeah. He does look like Pataki. And he look like Pataki now? Oh. Sorry. Wait, wait, I have nothing to what you just said, though. I just repeated what you said and agreed with it. <laughs> Another guy getting a little too old to dye his hair, by the way. He's he's right about there. He only has yeah. about a year or two left with that dye job thing before he starts looking creepy. Mm. we got to get like a montage of celebrities that dye their hair way too long. I yep. think that would be something cool to check out on a website where they just 
get to the point they look creepy because they continue dying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Sam, by the way? Could we uh, have Sam? How about Robert Redford in that dead die job? Oh. It looked like he had the equivalent of a red oven mitt on his head. <laughs> like, you're 70. <laughs> it was perfect hair. Sam, as a black gentleman. Yes. Uh, do you, Would you would like to see Dog the Bounty Hunter kill himself? I think just the fact that he would kill himself is enough for me. And I'm ready to forgive. You're ready to forgive. Uh, all right. Yeah. Forgive if he kills himself. Look, the forgive, the forgiving is the healing. It's starting. More importantly, I think Sam, for the first time, has admitted no, no. on our show that no. he has a little of the black well, blood. We all know he does. That's not what I said. You, you, you willingly came to the mic as a black gentleman. I was just asked to the mic and just to give my opinion. I thought we were all going to give opinions. I didn't realize <laughs> no, that connotation. No, not all. You ever meet your um, uh, girlfriend's uh, parents? Yeah. How do they feel about her interracial uh, choice <laughs> oh, no. and boyfriends? Did they, well, they actually made Sam stand half in, half out of the house. Like the, the right side of him they talked to, and the left half had to stay on the porch. <laughs> Have there been any problems dating a uh, white woman? No, no problems dating no, a white woman. No, you don't woman. find any uh, no issues uh, race, racism when you're out there? Not so far. No. Okay. Which is good. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. The fro is looking nice, too. Sam's not black. His ancestor's Thomas Jefferson. He's not black. He doesn't have big lips, just a real big thumb. Well, his skin's kind of weird. It's not black or white. If he's white, then he's dark. If he's black, he's light. Who the hell can figure? Who the hell can figure? If Sam's white or a mm -mm, White or a mm -mm. Yeah, we tease him, you know Cause he's white with an afro Sam's not black He's not black Don't smoke crack He ain't black Well, that's one man's opinion mm. We think uh, there's something going on there, Sam uh, Joe, Long Island City, what's up? How you doing? How long is it going to be before he's with Al Sharpton? Now, Al Sharpton's not going to touch this one You know that I know. I think. Uh, I think actually, Dog the Bounty Hunter last week was trying to get a meeting with Al Sharpton. Yeah. I, I don't know why you would ever want a meeting with Al Sharpton. Nothing good will come of that Nothing ever. Nothing comes out of that. He's offered to kill himself. Yeah. I mean. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just need black people to call our show and say they will forgive Dog the Bounty Hunter if he kills himself. I want to see his level of commitment. <laughs> if he will kill himself, I am inviting him on my show, the Reverend Al Show, to kill himself. First, I want to talk with him about healing and uh, loving uh, each other as uh, brothers of man and not race. And then we will string him up and have a live hanging on the Reverend Al Sharpton show. Let's kill the mullet-headed white man. <laughs> What's wrong with the mullet there, uh, Reverend Al? I don't know, but you could see him kill himself at 7 o'clock <laughs> on my show. Pinpoint listening. I must uh, get to pinpoint listening. It's all about pinpoint listening. Pinpoint right, listening. <laughs> <laughs> I know the business end of this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Let's get to Dog the Bounty Hunter. These are the, these are the big gets today, the two clips talking about slavery on yeah. Hannity's uh, oh. TV show last Oof. night. Hannity and Cole. Talking about his his home his in home. Mount uh, Vernon. In Mount Vernon, right. correct. Oh, yeah, a little setup, sorry. Uh, talking about George Washington's house and seeing where the slaves were buried. There's your setup for this clip. Yeah. Talking about his his home his in home. Mount uh, Vernon. In Mount Vernon, right. correct. And so they said, well, we want to show you, dog, where we buried the slaves. And I'm like, okay, right? I know that sounds morbid, but I wanted to see that. He said, okay, there's where it's at. And there was this blank hill, right? Mm -hmm. And there were no oh, uh, see right markers there. at He's already learned his lesson. He said, blank hill. Yeah. Ah, see? Hey. <laughs> he's he's self-edited. Oh, I didn't know they, That's very. what they called the burial crown. Yeah, very yeah. good observation, <laughs> Jimmy. A little inappropriate. God damn, Jimmy. But for, it's a good observation. Maybe dog is learning. Oof. He's checking himself. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now we got to replay that part of the clip. Uh, let's go to John. He's our he's our black brother in Jersey. Can I say that, John? Is that okay to say black brother? Yeah, we're brothers from another mother, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, what do you got, John? 
Well, I'd like to say that I forgive dog as long as he kills himself. It's a right. really brutal way. All right, so far we're up to, we're up to two and a half people. Uh, yeah. Two, two and a half uh, black people have said that they will forgive if dog the bounty hunter kills himself. Yep. And Thank you, John. I think it's important. No problem. Hey, John, wait, wait, wait. Uh, percentages. Uh, are you uh, 100% black, 50% black? How black are you? <laughs> 75. All right, 75. All right, so yeah, we, we need. An, the awkward, uh, all right, so yeah, now we're down to also. two and a quarter black. So we either need like a really, <laughs> so really fractions. white black. We either need a white, a black Republican, yeah, to make up the other quarter black, or we need uh, an African to be one and one point two five. We basically yeah. need Grace Jones to call the yes. radio show. Yeah, all <laughs> right. make up for that quarter. Black. Even <laughs> this out. <laughs> Or that guy, uh, that actor guy with the weird name that's in every black film. Yafit Koto? Uh, the, I don't know. Yafit Koto. He's very dark. Yes, he is. He was in uh, Amistad. Or oh. Amistad. Oh, no. Amistad. All right, here's, uh, here's that clip again where he saw the, 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 uh, the black graves. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the graves of the slaves. Uh, and there was this blank hill, right? <laughs> <laughs> and there were no uh, <laughs> markers at all, right? And I said to him, what do you mean? And I said, this is where, and he said, there's five family buried there. There's buried there. There's buried there. And I said, well, where's their grave markers at? And he said, you know, he said, we buried him with their feet towards the Potomac. And he said it kind of, and I was like, hey, brother, you know, watch what you talk. You know, what are you saying? Because I was getting a little aggravated that he was talking stink like that. Oh, oh God. Oh, you are just the worst. We watch get, how you watch how you talk. What you you watch how you talk. Why was you, why was his son trying to date one of them and you were <laughs> reprimanding them? Hey, <laughs> idiot! I know what you're trying to do there, but let's uh, let's yeah. make it official. We got to play the the bleep game with that last clip. We'll give yeah, it back yeah. to the boys and they'll yeah, bleep it a, that was to make it one. sound a little different. Okay. My first one hit the mark perfectly. It did. <laughs> and finally, dog wants to be buried with the slaves. Here it is, the last clip of Dog the Bounty Hunter. On his apology uh, appearance on Hannity and Combs last night. He said, no, dog. He said, the black people back then, when they died, they wanted their feet buried towards the Potomac so they could walk over the river when they passed away back to Africa. And I thought, oh, my God, there's not a marker in there. I told the Lord, and I, two Catholic ladies own that property, so I've already made phone calls. I'm going to be buried right in that center. Oh my God! He, <laughs> this could be the most amazing piece you, of you know, audio you know, in recent memory. I cannot get over what a boob this guy is. He, that he's thinking this is going to help. Yeah, this will get him back on TV. I can't understand why people would want to be buried with their feet pointed a certain way. Whereas if you're going to walk across the ocean, why could you just get up and go? Oh no, it's that way. And turn <laughs> it's that around. way. Turn around. Right. Yeah. Why? Why do you have to be pointed in that direction? I don't know. In death, you lose all direction. <laughs> yeah, you just you have to be pointed in the right direction. You're like a zombie. You just kind of get up and go, oh, and just start walking forward. And why would you be? Yeah. Why would you be facing the? The uh, where? You, uh, what am I trying to say? Never mind. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm bailing. <laughs> he I'm punched bailing. out. I punched out. Yes. <laughs> I had a thought, but it just got scrambled. All right. Here we go. Back to this. In there, I told the Lord, and I two Catholic ladies own that property, so I've already made phone calls. I'm gonna be buried right in that center. You made a deal to do that? I'm making a deal. She told me, dog, absolutely. Because I will never be forgiven as I'm alive, and you and I know that. But they'll be able to say, forever and ever, dog is sorry. They'll come someday to their children who come to their say, why is dog buried there? Why is that white man lay there? And they'll be able to say, because that white man made a terrible mistake, and he requested that. So it's almost like he's saying he's punishing himself by burying himself. <laughs> right, with... right. He hasn't learned to think. It's like people say, why is that white man buried with these people? Right. I'm going to give myself the ultimate punishment. Yeah. I'm going right. to be laid to rest with these people. Because he did something <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so he has to. I what did... an ass. He said something terrible. Now he has to lay with them forever. <laughs> forever. For all eternity. <laughs> the one big marker in the middle of this... Of this, of this cemetery.
<laughs> on Washington's property. Dog yeah. the bounty hunter. <laughs> right. The logo on the cross. Right. He, he <laughs> is so self-important. And people will come by and say, what? No, people won't even notice. No, we Or could, care. We could give you a list of uh, people that have effed up in the past and no one even remembers their names anymore. But they'll, <sighs> but they'll say, like, why is this white man? Just the, I, I like the conversations he thought are going to be happening yeah. in yeah. 100 years. Yeah, <laughs> right. 100 he, years from now. He hopes people aren't dead yet before he can make excuses, and he thinks in 500 years or so there's going to be this he's, big discussion about him. He's thinking that he's going to have that eternal flame like JFK. Yeah. <laughs> and people are going to come around from all over to, to see where he's uh, laid to rest. Stop it. Why is this white man buried here? And then the father will take off his hat, look at the son, because he made a terrible mistake. This is hell. <laughs> <laughs> And has he even like thought about how black people would feel? I know uh, black people uh, pretty touchy about where slaves are buried. Right. There was a whole uh, thing that happened here in Manhattan. They were build a building project. They started uh, excavating, and they found uh, that there was a, a black slave uh, graveyard Remains or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And the building stopped, and that was it. They had to make some kind of a, a cemetery park on top of it. And uh, that was pretty much it. Do you so think... Did they build the multi-million dollar uh, condo around this thing? Oh, hell yeah. Money's yeah, got to be made, people. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, come on, it's 2007. <laughs> uh, but Dog thinks that black people are just going to be like, yeah, okay, desecrate this sacred ground of our uh, forefathers <laughs> that were brought here by putting this white trash mullet head in there. Next stop, Larry King tonight. Can't wait. Uh, already DVR'd it. A double boobage. You know what I did? I DV DVR this on two TVs just in case something just gets messed up. You got to, and you got to run oh, oh, like start it earlier oh, than I the did, show. I did and that end as well. It later, so you don't miss a delicious second. I did that <laughs> as well. <laughs> I did that as well. Uh, Tyrone, Long Island, what's up? Hey. hey, buddy. What's up? What's up, my end? Hey, I got two ways this cracker can uh, redeem himself. He can bring that fat bitch wife of his to the hood and drop her off and let us jump her in like you jump a guy into the gang oh. because we're almost done with Lisa Lampanelli. <laughs> or or, or, or he, we can get that guy that played Debo and have him just choke his cracker ass out on national TV. Well, you know what's really funny? That would be funny if Dog used as an excuse. Like, of course I can. I, I feel like I'm black. Look at the, fi the fat white girl I'm with. Yeah. Is that not a tribute to the brothers? <laughs> I'm doing all I can here. Uh, Travis, in the Bronx. I, I didn't realize how many people were listening from the Bronx yeah. until today. What's up, Travis? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, well, yeah, pretty much want to say this guy, he's retarded. He thinks he's Dog Doolittle, the white guy that could talk to black people. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> dog Doolittle. And I, don't know, I really don't know what to say about this guy. Oh, that's and a good I one. I also love to say... I will forgive him if he shaves off that ratty-looking mullet, eats it, and then kills himself. Yeah, you, you <laughs> eats his mullet. Yeah, God. make sure you keep the uh, kills himself part. Dog Doolittle. <laughs> you heard it here on our show. Uh, dog he talks would to kill him. Talk to the black people. <laughs> would kill himself if that meant that black people would forgive uh, him. We got to get a petition going, dude. I'm gonna laugh about that all day. That so, was yeah, bravo to you, Travis. Hey, can't wait to see you Friday, Jimmy. Oh, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, Caroline. Thank you, uh, Big gig for Jimmy. Guys are funny. Uh, let's say hi to Cigars and Scotch. Cigars and Scotch, what's up? Good morning. Yeah, tonight I'm Larry King. He's offering 40 acres and a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Cigars and Scotch, always good for one. Thank you, sir. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's go to Lola from Jersey. Lola. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Wait, I heard the dog is making a movie about his ship. It's called the Amadope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're revving up. Uh, this right, flight is about to take off. Go ahead, Lola. Well, I just don't get why if he's so sorry and he's a brother, then why can't his son date? Yeah, then why did he have such a problem? I mean, oh. what's, with the, what's with the apology? I mean, it's... He's, he's avoiding the whole issue. He's just a babbling ass. That's what makes this so much fun. He actually oh, yeah. he actually is going to be buried with slaves. Like, people are going to give a crap. Well, yeah, no one's going to care. Crap to begin with, anyway. Except for the black right. people that don't want him there. Yeah. 
All right, thank you, Lola. Let's go to Karen in Westchester. Karen. Hi. Hey. I just think he should have just said, yeah, I said it. It's between me and my son, like Alec Baldwin. He never really apologized. No. Just... Alec, well, this is, you know, again, the difference is the racial uh, stuff, and, you know, it's a PC world. It's sickening, but it's the truth. Yeah. But I, I like I like I, I like where you're coming from that it was a private conversation, but you're not being realistic for him to just go, yeah, I said it. <laughs> that wouldn't fly either, <laughs> and he wouldn't just go, well, he's got a point. Anyway. <laughs> All right, thank All right, you. Guys. But there's a line between yeah, I said it, and I'm going to kill myself and be buried with slaves. Yeah. yeah. There's got to be a, a, a happy medium there. We're going to be looking up black movies uh, during the break if you want to join the fun Ooh. after the break. Uh, Starks. Hey, what's up? Brooklyn. What's up? Carl? How's retirement, John? Uh, oh. Someone got it out there. A little Brooklyn. Bas- little basketball. Brooklyn. Stuff. Brooklyn. What's up? What's up, Starks? Chilling, man. Yep. That's good. Yo, I'm putting my I'm putting my piece in, kid. I want to do to kill himself. Plain and simple. You so, forgive him, right? Uh, if he kills uh, himself, you'll forgive him. Forgive him like yo, like yesterday, you dig? Amen. All right, thanks, Starks. All, All right. right. Starks we'll, is in. We'll take a break here, but first Dan in Jersey. Dan? Hey, uh, yeah, I'd like to forgive Dog only on the grounds that he uh, kills himself with his big fat cow wife. I'm half black, so that completes the uh, side that Sam said. You know, he said. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you and uh, Sam make one black person, so that's good. That's we can up our total here. Together. All right, uh, fair enough. Out, guys. Thank you, Dan. All right. No problem. Yeah, that's just amazing, though. I, I can't get enough of that. He, he, will, he would kill himself if that meant people would. Uh, he said it. And he was serious, like like he said it as if people would believe him. him. Right, right. All right. Everything he said, he said like people would believe that. I want to be buried when people come by and say, why is that white man ma-? <laughs> not going to say anything? Hey, can we get Sean Hannity on the show next? Right. Got to congratulate him, man. That's, oh, that's bravo. That's some great stuff last night. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know if we should uh, continue our friendship. If he's going to be doing comedy shows like that, <laughs> uh, we're in direct competition. Yeah, but also, uh, I, I, I don't like the fact that, because I never knew that Hannity was uh, a <laughs> lover. <laughs> I didn't do that one right. I just screwed yeah. up. I just curse. All right. We're going to regroup. Ooh. Thanks to Jimmy. Aw. No, <laughs> hey, I... Whoa. Hey, I'm entitled. All right, I had a, a little car crash. One of many. Yeah, well. <laughs> all right. It's, a few uh, today. it's Opie and Anthony. Stay there. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, this is Mike. How you doing? Hey, what's hey. up, Mark? Hey, uh, yeah, that whole, uh, the whole deal with Dog the Bounty. I don't think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm black. I don't think the man should apologize. You guys are giving this stuff way too much credence. When you guys start tap dancing or, or, or tiptoeing on eggshells, you're going to start tap dancing on landmines. And that's what this has come to. Oh, boy. This man had a More private cliches. conversation with his son, and now he loses his job over it. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, the world we live in. Yep. I don't, necess- I don't disagree with you, but it's the world we live in. That's completely nonsensical. And, and then I'll say this, too. The biggest racists I've ever met in my life are black people. They have no problems calling white folks cracker. They call each other the <laughs> N-word. I feel like a third grader saying the N-word. You know what? Let's Are be you a- really black, sir? Uh, you sound like yeah, a white black. guy doing an impression of a, a, yeah. an ideal black He's guy. He's not. Uh, Let's be honest, though. Cracker yeah. never really caught on like the N-word. The cracker didn't have the No. Thing. You could call me cracker all day long. Couldn't care gonna, less. I could give a or crap. Or could care less. Hockey. Hockey, no all that stuff. <laughs> None of those things ever really caught on like the N-word. Nope. No, the N word is the uh, stairway to heaven to of all <laughs> racial slurs. <laughs> when said, hey, uh, pretty soon, white folks are going to get sick and tired of the guilt. All right, a lot of people say yeah. he's not black, sir. But thank you for your opinion. It's I don't think he's Good black talk. either. Hey, uh, speaking of Dog the Bounty Hunter, uh, Sam uh, took the audio we just played for you a little while ago, and we're going to play the beep uh, game today. Ooh! You never know when we're going to play the beep game, right? I like the. Beep game. Want to explain the beep game, Anthony? Well, we take a piece of audio that's innocent enough, and uh, with a few beeps, your imagination runs wild, and uh, you uh, uh, automatically fill in a horrid word underneath a beep, and it turns an innocent conversation into uh, something not so innocent. It just makes it funny. Yeah. (laughs) That's what it comes down to. 
Do you remember when dog was the remember when? Do you remember when we were talking about uh, it, it was it was a few minutes ago. Do you remember the time? <laughs> oh god, was that embarrassing? What? That whole thing started with Dice in that steakhouse when he took us out to dinner. And oh, with the baked potato. With the it was first with the but he wanted his steak butterflied. Right. Instead of just cooked. He wanted it cut open so it was thinner and butterflied. So he ordered it that way, and it came as just a regular big, fat, nice steak. And anybody else would have been like, excuse me, waiter, I, I ordered this butterflied. Could I? And they would be like, oh, oh, perhaps uh, I'll take it back, and this will be fun. Dice goes, uh, excuse me, come, come, come here, come here. Do you remember, like, <laughs> five minutes ago when I was telling you what I wanted Oh, sir, do, 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 you, do you remember? And and the guy is the, it's the waiter, and all I had my head in my hands, going, "This is the most embarrassing moment." Yeah. And my potato, I wanted my potato grilled. I wanted the skin burned on the grill. I, uh, do, do you remember? I was sitting next to Joey Paisano. Oh, we were mortified. Embarrassing. It was the first time we all hung out with Dice, and we hung out with him many times after that. But, yeah. But we didn't know what to expect hanging out with Dice for the first time. He had them so frazzled in this steak joint, a really nice steak joint. Remember by the end of it, because the grill was uh, in the dining room area, basically, Anthony, so you could see the steaks being cooked? Yeah. And uh, by the end of it, he had four or five people staring at the steak as... They had to bring the steak back uh, like three times because yep. then the guy came back with the steak after the whole remember speech and then he went at it again. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. See, I was used to it because I was touring with That was my first dinner with you guys. Yeah. Um, yep. I, I was used to it because I was on the Oh, yeah. I would look around to everybody else and they're just, eh. And then a couple of people came up to say hi to Dice and stupid Kenny just gets up. He jumps up and gets right. Yeah, hey. Face. Take a walk for yourself. Can't you see the legends eating? <laughs> and he loved putting his big mustache in front of people. Oh, he did. <laughs> Trying to say hello. I found a mustachioed picture of Kenny uh, the other day as I was going through some photos. And uh, just hysterical. We forced him to shave that, that back. Thing. No, we forced oh, him to shave Oh, I want him to grow that thing that back. Thing. I forgot how awful that was until I see the old photos. Yeah. Like, Why did I ever like you? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I feel like? All right, here we go. So we're how, playing. How did I even hang out around with you? <laughs> so we're playing the bleep uh, game. So uh, just remember when we played the clip of Dog talking about seeing George Washington's house and the graveyard. Yeah. Uh, well, we added a few bleeps in it. A few bleeps. Talking about his his home his in home. Mount uh, Vernon. In Mount Vernon, right. correct. And so they said, "Well, we want to show you, Dog, where we buried." The and I'm like, okay, right? I know that sounds morbid, but I wanted to see that. He said, okay, there's where it's at. And there was this blank hill, right? Mm -hmm. And there were no uh, <laughs> at all, right? And I said, what the hell is wrong with you, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I gotta take a breath. Oh, that's bad. Because we're all looking at Sam like, why didn't you bleep the. The blank line. Yeah. But then he puts up his finger like, one he goes, moment. no, hold one, on, one hold on, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Sam made an executive call, and it was a good one. That was a real good one. Orbit, but I wanted to see that. He said, okay, there's where it's at. And there was this blank hill, right? Mm -hmm. And there were no uh, <laughs> at all, right? And I said to him, what do you mean? And I said, this is where, and he said, there's five <laughs> buried there. There's buried there. There's buried there. And I said, well, where's the is that and he said you know he said we buried him with their feet towards the potomac and he said it kind of and i was like hey but uh, you know watch what you talk you know what are you saying because i was getting a little aggravated that he was talking <laughs> like that <laughs> oh my god you know what you outdid yourself with the deep that's here. a good one yeah. Let it be known, the uh, Bravo. the black gentleman uh, put that together. <laughs> the black gentleman. We got to use it to our advantage. You got to start admitting you're black. We could get away with a hell of a lot of good stuff. God, that's all fine. you have to do is admit you're black, and man, this show changes uh, tomorrow. Worked well for Howard back in the day. I don't know if the genetic evidence is there on Fox. Uh, I'm sure it is. it is. Just admit on our show you're black, and then we could do all. You could pretty much be 
Like, uh, like you, you can have your own microphone every day. You get to sit down every day with the big boys. Really? That's all it takes. Wow. You're a very light-skinned black guy. You can live among white people like W.D. Fard, <laughs> who uh, I believe uh, yeah. was uh, the inspiration for Elijah. All right, uh, Sam put another one together. Dog talks about being buried with the slaves. Mm -hmm. You might mm -hmm. remember when we did this a little while ago. Do you remember <laughs> a few minutes ago? Well, it was it was it was like minutes ago. Okay. You can't remember. Oh God! And Sam does such a great I'm job of this. We gotta make sure people understand. We added these beeps to make it funny. Simple as that. The beep game. He said no, dog. He said the <laughs> back then when they died, they wanted their feet buried towards the Potomac so they could walk over the river when they passed away back to Africa. And I thought, oh my God, there's. In there, I told the Lord, and I two Catholic ladies own that property, so I've already made phone calls. I'm going to be buried right in that center. You've made a deal to do that. I'm making a deal. She told me, dog, absolutely, because I will never be forgiven as I'm alive, and you and I know that. But they'll be able to say forever and ever, dog is sorry. They'll come someday to their children will come to their say, why is dog buried there? Why is that white man lay there? And they'll be able to say, because that white man made a terrible mistake and he requested that. There you go. He's crying I, through that. Again, it is so uh, hysterical how he presents it as a punishment. Yeah. <laughs> for him to have to lay with them. With <laughs> them. With them for eternity. <laughs> That's why you should never talk, because you just bury yourself ah, further. Yeah. Just shut your mouth. Bury yourself mouth. further with them. <laughs> His, you understand what he's saying there. Ignore the beeps. Yeah. He wants to punish himself to the point that he wants to be buried yeah. with those people, is basically what he's saying. So that his relatives will have to visit him. Uh, and and have to uh, tread amongst the graves of those people. Of those people. And he's only going to drink grape soda for the rest of his life. <laughs> Cheetos. And he also said uh, earlier that um, if if uh, wait uh, he would kill himself. What was the line? He would, would if to be forgiven. He would kill himself. If yeah, if it meant yeah. that black people would forgive him, he would kill himself. So with that, we get this from Tim. Dog the Bounty Hunter is sorry for what he has said. Of course, all black people in America, I owe an apology to. He is sorry. I've learned a lesson. So very, very sorry. This is one of the hardest lessons I've ever learned in my life, even facing death. Be ready to forgive. If I could kill myself and people would forgive me, I would do that. Call the Opie and Anthony Show now at 877 212 and a and say yes dog if i could kill myself i forgive you my brother kill yourself <laughs> that was great <laughs> that's good and tim doesn't even really work for the show officially but he, no he does a great out, job he pumps out great. uh production for us do we give tim money at all <laughs> no good nothing no, don't it'll spoil him <laughs> people <are> hungry <laughs> Hey, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter, we were just playing the beep uh, game. Well, we uh, we have a brand new version of the theme song, just in case A&E decides to continue production of uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. You know, you got to change the theme song a little bit. Certainly. What's wrong, Jimmy? I love Ozzy. You don't like that? 
I, I hate it. Why? I kind of like it. I thought it was I just never somebody heard doing a real Ozzy ripoff. I'm That's really... the dog, the big bad dog. <laughs> She's doing Ozzy. I thought that was just somebody doing an imitation of Ozzy. No, it's him. It's really Ozzy. I love Ozzy. Why would Ozzy do that? It's probably a million dollars, whatever they gave yeah, him. Yeah, but he's people. got like, no, Sharon. God smack his, uh... Sharon threw him up in front of a mic and hey, made who, him do someone it. Someone did the Chris Angel song? These guys do this now because the networks give them a lot Who of does money. the Chris Angel song? Because that is so utterly bad. I don't know. I don't know. I know God we'll Sullivan was, was, was the talking about mind it. freak song where he's standing there like he's an eighties rocker. Hey, who does the? Uh, oh, I oh, like that song. song. No, I don't you mind don't. That. Yeah. No, you don't. I'm the dog. It's not like one of Tim's voices. The big bad dog. Oh, does Sam know? Sam? I think Chris Angel does it himself. Oh well. Oh, he's one of those guys that wants to be a rock star too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he absolutely man. does. I love when uh, comedians want to be rock stars. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Has that ever worked out? <laughs> Not really. No, nah, it hurt. Trying to think. I, it didn't help. It, yeah. Things, at least. No. Let's go to Brian in the Bronx. Brian, what's up? Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Listen, I just I just wanted to thank you for uh, informing me today that a, a bounty hunter is actually a racist. <laughs> I don't know, it blew my mind. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> just kicking in black people's doors and spraying their face <laughs> with a, a friggin' fire extinguisher full of mace. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good, so it was a perk of his job, you know what I mean? Good point, Brian. Let's go to Michael again. Hey, Michael, so what do you got? <laughs> Thank you for waiting through the long commercials today. I want to uh, sign that position so a dog can kill himself. I'll, um, I'll accept his apology. Oh, yeah, you know what? We're not going to let that drop today. Michael, hold on the line. I'm going to play the clip again. This was uh, the dog on uh, Hannity and Combs the other night. Uh, what show? Hannity <laughs> and Combs. Combs. No, that's not it. This is it. Of course, all black people in America, I owe an apology to. Whether all uh, how dark I think I am, I cannot say that word. How dark? What? what is I owe the rest of the people, whether they're black or not in America, an apology because people look up to me. Mm, I don't. I've learned a lesson. All my lessons I've learned in my life have been the hard way. Or guess, I guess I wouldn't learn them. This is one of the hardest lessons I've ever learned in my life, even facing death. If I could kill myself and people would forgive me, I would do that. I said on the way here, I hope no one died thinking I meant that word before I got here. This guy's insane. He doesn't care if people die, but please do it after he apologizes. That's right. So they can, they can go to their deathbed knowing that dog uh, is indeed sorry. This should be his new reality show. Just go on every single radio and TV show out there and just babble. And apologize. I can, I can listen to this guy babble. And who really looked up to the dog? Seriously. I would take a peek no. every once in a while and go, wow, that guy no. seems a little off. I think you could probably go to a few states in the uh, country that uh, looked up to him. I actually looked up to him? Yeah, yeah. For what reason? Uh, because they probably wanted to, like, be him. <laughs> Think about it. I, I, Think I, about it. I know where you're going, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that means you would look up to this guy. He's probably like you know, look and go. Damn, I won't be a bounty hunter. Do you look up to him? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think I, I would ever would until a few days ago. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> is right? Yeah. So what Michael's getting at, we didn't forget what he said yesterday. We played it on this show, so we're encouraging our black brothers that listen to this fine radio show. Uh, to call up and uh, and 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 say you you would forgive him if he killed himself, and he really stressed that when he got to that part of the apology, he goes, yeah. "If it would help, I would kill myself." Like it wasn't like just a little throwaway. He he was very dramatic in that part of the apology. All right, Michael, we'll add you to the list. All right, hang on. I would I would only accept his apology if he puts himself knowingly into a saw trap. Oh, what's oh. a saw trap? What's, saw trap. What's huh? a saw trap? It has to rip, like, rip off the hair on his head from his scalp all the way back. <laughs> oh, right on, man. All right, Michael, thank you. I think uh, one of the listeners is trying to get a website up, so, you know, the, a little petition, because I think if we get enough black people. But actually, I, you were right yesterday. He's saying uh, it, it doesn't matter if you're black or white. Yeah. He would kill himself if that meant you would forgive him. Yeah, he and he was saying he wants forgiveness from everybody. So, right. yeah. And you know what? Before we play the brand new clips from Larry King, which weren't as good as uh, the clips from Hannity and Combs, um, because I think some of his people got to him and said, look, you look like a complete ass on Hannity and Yeah, Combs. somebody had to have gotten to him. Why don't you shut the F up and keep it very basic, you idiot? 
But uh, from Hannity and Combs, I can't get enough of this clip, how he wants to be buried with the slaves. One more time for <laughs> everybody. One more time. He said no, dog. He said... Oh, by the way, this is... Um, yeah, he went to, uh, what, George Washington's house and saw, like, a slave graveyard. Uh, but they had to tell him it was that because it was a blank hill. Yes. He said blank hill, by Blank the way. hill, they call it. No grave markers. And, uh, well, this is what he had to say after seeing the... The slave graveyard at George Washington's house. He said, no, dog. He said, the black people back then, when they died, they wanted their feet buried towards the Potomac so they could walk over the river when they passed away back to Africa. And I thought, oh, my God, there's not a marker in there. I told the Lord, and I, two Catholic ladies own that property, so I've already made phone calls. I'm going to be buried right in that center. <laughs> You made a deal to do that? I'm making a deal. She told me, dog, absolutely. Because I will never be forgiven as I'm alive, and you and I know that. But they'll be able to say, forever and ever, dog is sorry. They'll come someday to their children, will come to their say, why is dog buried there? Why is that white man lay there? And they'll be able to say, because that white man made a terrible mistake, and he requested that. Are you guys listening closely to that clip? <laughs> he's yeah. not helping his cause. Not at all. I, I love the fact that he's he's babbling like it's a punishment. <laughs> I'm going to have to spend eternity with a bunch of <laughs> That's my penance that I'll have to pay. Right. People say, why is the dog buried there? Like, people will care. No, one would, no one's going to care in, uh, six months from now. This stuff goes by fast this, uh, these yeah. days. We're having fun with him, but we'll stop talking about him by tomorrow. Yeah, done. Uh, so Larry King, uh, well, he apologized to Larry King. Yeah. I don't know why he's apologizing now to Larry King, but... He's just he's he's trying to cover all his bases. I think he wants to apologize to everybody on the face of the globe. One person at a time. One, yeah, one show, one person. He really is an ass. A dope. How are you handling all of this? I'm uh, still alive. <laughs> Other than that, not very, not very good. I've been here several times sitting in front of you. Tonight, I felt like I was coming to the electric chair. Really? Well, really? Going on Larry King is like going to the electric chair? The electric chair. <laughs> what? Maybe if my pacemaker goes off and I grab you by the shoulders. Right. But other than that... I think Larry has the the most comfortable chair in broadcasting oh. that you get to sit in. Larry needs he, an electric chair so he, they could shock him awake when he's going off on one of his right. tirades. As he lobs softball questions at you, the, the Larry King's the electric chair. Well, his chair is special because it's like a, it's like a first class chair, but it just goes back into a coffin. So when he eventually <laughs> drops dead, it'll just go, Ehh, and there's already a satin pillow on it. <laughs> just put him in the freezer. <laughs> Basically, he's saying he was scared of Larry King. Yeah. Larry doesn't even know where he is. Tonight I felt like I was coming to the electric chair. Really? I'm sorry to tell you personally. First of all, I'm very sorry. I know you had also a lot of faith in me. I'm very sorry for using that word. Please don't think any less of me, and I'm going to fix. Uh, I'm yeah. going to fix. By the way, Bert from Philly, a regular. Hey, Owen. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, dog's knocking on my door. Let me go hear him grovel. I'll be back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's just going door to door. Just door. bang on everybody's door. Hi, I'm dog. And I'm, oh, so gonna now be, he's a I'm going to be buried with the... <laughs> <laughs> so please accept my apology. Now he's uh, apologizing to Larry King personally for using the N-word. <laughs> and my feet are going to be pointed uh, away from the Potomac. So the second... Uh, I am uh, resurrected. I can run away from the <laughs> as they're going over the Potomac. <laughs> oh, brother. How do you fix it? Well, I'll continue doing the things I've done working with, you know, interracial people. And Why? Just okay, what, to, what, what uh, working mean? with interracial people? You, do you mean arresting them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he was doing. He's, he said continue. You're right. Yeah. Working with interracial people. <laughs> you know, when I was macing them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I take my fire extinguisher full of mace and just uh, spray it in their face. I'll continue clubbing and cuffing mongrels all over the planet. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> 
Why I didn't see I, a buffoon? Uh, why didn't I watch this show? I uh, like I said, I would take a peek. Now I want to see every episode. Who knew? Do the right thing and put this thing back on TV. I got to see this guy. Who knew? I got to see him working with uh, interracial people. Interracial people. He doesn't even know how to use the words right. Right. Well, that's he explains he has to work on his vocabulary. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Here we go. How do you fix it? with you know interracial people and <laughs> i just have to uh i have some classes i have to go to and i need to get a greater vocabulary than what i have uh, obviously and uh, when yeah. i get mad and my brain searches for a word i have to find different words and to do that you have to be have a more of an education yeah i can't just say you know larry i have to sometimes use porch <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, or, or, boo. <laughs> hey, uh, can you give me a beep? I'll tell you when. All right. Uh, I'm wondering if one of the classes he has to take is 101. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a bigger vocabulary. You can tell by the way he's talking, he doesn't. He doesn't believe any of this. Mm -mm. He's not sincere in it. And he's so out of the loop on how to actually talk in, in terms of racial equality or, you know, he's trying to apologize for racist remarks and he doesn't even know how to do that right. So, so if you get an education, that word leaves you or you know not to use it? That's yeah, so, that must that's be so it. so stupid. That must be it. If I know not to use it, like you have other words. They use it in Harvard. Whoa. <laughs> Some accusations you're making. You don't think there's a very intelligent people walking around the Harvard area that are using that, that word? I don't um, think there's intelligent among people themselves. walking around who aren't. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid to say that with an education that uh, leaves your brain. Yeah. Or you, or you make sure you don't say it. That's so dumb. Mm -hmm. He's dumb. So you had, would you say, a limited vocabulary due to not a great education? Well, if I could, uh, I graduated from the seventh grade, you know, I mean, I, I dropped out of school and, and I don't want to blame it on that. I graduated right from, from the seventh grade. grade. <laughs> Wouldn't you say you left school after the seventh grade, not graduated from the seventh grade, little seventh grade mullet headed yeah. douche with his little hat on especially, grabbing a seventh grade diploma, especially the seventh grade. Cause that's the start of like junior high yeah in most places i guess yeah, that's pretty or, much where you start or, or in the middle of like junior high or middle school whatever the hell they call it yeah when you say i graduated from the sixth grade because that means you're done with elementary school or <laughs> yeah well, graduated from middle school which is what uh, after eighth grade maybe i remember at the end of sixth grade for us they had what was called a stepping up exercise oh boy yeah and and it was like this kind of uh, graduation thing from elementary school and the next year you were going into junior high. So it was like stepping up e exercise, they called it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's sixth grade. Seventh grade, you don't graduate from seventh grade. The guy's an idiot. I'm proud to say I graduated from the fourth grade. <laughs> I did good with finger painting <laughs> and gluing leaves on cardboard. <laughs> I mean, I I dropped out of school, and, and I don't want to blame it on that. I know right from wrong. I'm not that kind of guy. I knew I probably shouldn't have never used that, but I thought I was cool enough to be able to use that. But uh, to blame it on ignorance and unlearned, that's not, no. I like the fact that he's just implying that is the word is okay if you're cool enough to use it. Yeah, if you're cool enough, then it's fine. And we all know how he used the word. You, you couldn't use the word worse. <laughs> you know what I mean? There are some white people that could get away with saying that word in front of their black brothers, their black friends. But how he used it, there's not a black man alive that's not going to smack you upside your head. No, that had nothing to do with it's, just using it in a cool, like, right. friendly way. I, I, I get what he's getting at. There are people that feel like, okay, I'm, I, I hang with the brothers, uh, they're friends, we work together. I know I could, I could just throw that out in a, in a quote, nice way or, yeah. or, or whatever. Yeah. But how he used it, there's not a black guy alive. It's when when some that white trash that. white trash guy with a mullet is yelling at his son for going right. out with one. Right. Uh that's not quite, you know thinking you were yeah. cool enough to use her or whatever. Yeah, you're hanging out maybe talking hip hop as a, a wannabe right. or something like that. It's a, a big difference. The only shot he has 
is that even in the conversation, he was like, I don't mean it like to say they're all bad. Or it, It's almost like he explains his context, even though it sounds ridiculous. But while he's having that conversation, he's like, but America would think that. Yeah. That's the only shot he has is that he did explain it in context while he was having that discussion. Right. All right. Uh, final clip Boy. from Larry King. Where's he going to be tonight? Where's he going to be? Anyone know? The dog's uh, ap apology tour. I gotta follow this guy until he finally gives up. Someone having him on? Can we please get him on? Yeah, we should get him. Yeah, let's get rolling and get him on him? our show. We well, talk to a lot of people. Come on, get that dope on here. <laughs> Here's the final thing he's, uh, that was interesting on Larry King last night. Email question from Lori in Windsor, Ontario. My son went out on Halloween as you, dog, dressed as you. When we came home, this story about your rant was all over TV. My son is black. Any advice? You know how ridiculous this kid must that have looked. That must with have a, looked with silly. A blonde, ridiculous mullet. I'm the dog. Dog, are you? My son is black. Any advice how to explain to him that you're not a hero? Well, uh, well, I, I said I don't know about being a hero. I don't didn't want to be that. But if he went out there as me, I'm proud of that. And that Uncle Dog has learned there's certain words. You know, let me tell you, Uncle Dog. <laughs> all of a sudden, he's the Hulkster. <laughs> <laughs> the Dogsters out there. <laughs> Uncle, eat your vegetables, take your vitamins, and say. Every day. <laughs> uncle Dog. Uncle Dog. Where did Uncle Dog come from? I would stay away from the word uncle when discussing this issue. Yeah. Uncle Dog. Paul if Moody's he went out there as... 40 minutes on this. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, how do you not know that? <laughs> uh, old queen. <laughs> <laughs> want to be that but if he went out there as me i'm proud of that and that uncle dog has learned there are certain words that you can never use oh. there are certain words mm. for instance you can't yell i've got a bomb in an airport there are certain words in the english language that you cannot use and the n-word is one of them oh okay you yell that in an airport not, though yeah you're, you're, <laughs> not, you're not gonna teach everybody that's great you uh, can't yell there's a bomb in an airport, but you can't. I love his analogies. They have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, it's awful. He's, he's, an, he's an idiot. Like, it's illegal to drunk drive, and you also can't yell this. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, uh, Name everything illegal. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little something here. We beeped it. Mm -hmm. Let me play this. Uh -huh. uh, by the way, if you head to our website, cnn.com slash Larry King, we've got a quick vote for you. Do you think Dog Show should be off the air? Right now, 66% say no. Are you pleased that two-thirds, two-thirds, don't think you should be off the air? Oh, absolutely. I want to say thank you so much. And That just uh, means there's more white people in America than black people. Uh, well, that's, that's who, what that uh, poll's about. Think, who's voting for that, first of all? It's people that maybe give a crap about right. Dog and his show. And, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, a little skewed. Oh, are you pleased that two-thirds, two-thirds don't think you should be off the air? Oh, absolutely. I want to say thank you so much. And, and I want it to get to 90% because then the other 10% are the So I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, he got himself in Dutch again. <laughs> so we beeped that. <laughs> what do you think he... Uh, what was the word there? <laughs> We're going to play. What was the word that we beeped from that? Hmm. We'll tell you the answer after the break. The other 10%. What do you think the answer is? Oh. Any guesses? I Can I hear it again? Oh, sure. No? Yeah, sure. Why not? That's like the game show thing. Um, Could I hear it again one more time? Could I hear the question? Uh, we're waiting for a computer to reboot, so we have to stall anyway. Ooh. Uh, here it is again. Try to figure out what the beep is. Uh, by the way, if you head to our website, cnn.com slash Larry King, we've got a quick vote for you. Do you think Dog Show should be off the air? Right now, 66% say no. Are you pleased that two-thirds, two-thirds don't think you should be off the air? Oh, absolutely. I want to say thank you so much. And, and I want it to get to 90% because then the other 10% are the So I don't... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to say <laughs> Wow, really? That's what I'm saying. 
<laughs> what could it be? We're going to tell you after the break. And also, we're going to give away $1,000 uh, between 7 and 7.30. <laughs> Minorities? <laughs> All on the way with... Could be? <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Let's go to Jared in Boston. Jared, what's up, buddy? I have a lot of responsibility with you. Jared! Syndication. Hey, syndication now. Uh, I want to guess that. Linger and, uh, longer! I got gotcha. you. What's up? Sorry. I guess the noise that you got, the uh, sound you guys beeped out. Okay. Uh, prize pigs. Ooh, prize pigs. Is it prize pigs? No, of course it's not prize pigs. <laughs> Frunk is to you too, sir. Go, Pats, go. Yep. So before the break, we uh, we had a little uh, dog, the bounty hunter from Larry King last night. Yeah, uh, we played this before the break. Hold on a minute. Here we go. Any second now. Uh, by the way, if you head to our website, cnn.com slash Larry King, we've got a quick vote for you. Do you think Dog Show should be off the air right now? Sixty six percent say no. Are you pleased that two-thirds, two-thirds, don't think you should be off the air? Oh, absolutely. I want to say thank you so much. And, and I want it to get to 90% because then the other 10% are the <laughs> So I don't <laughs> I know what he said. You do know what he said? Yes. All right, Jimmy. Jews. Ah. Jimmy's. I didn't go. even think that. Can I have the answer in front of me? Because <clears> people are <throat> guessing. Oh. oh, sorry, Jimmy. Let's say hi to John in Jersey. John, I think I have the answer. Are you talking like Tim as you give the answer to this? <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, <laughs> it's like two things in one. Yes, go ahead there, uh, John. Criminals. Bzz, wrong. Try oh. again, dumbass. It's not criminals. No, that's what I was thinking too. Let's go to Chuck in Ohio. Chuck. Hello. Oh. Hi, Chuck. Okay, look. I think I, I, the answer, too. <laughs> All right, what do you got, Chuck? I think the answer is golfers. Golfers? You suck! I'm sorry. All right, here's the answer. This is what uh, Dog was saying. Everyone, uh, their imaginary, imagination was uh, running wild. Running right? wild. Well, this is what uh, the answer is to that. Uh, by the way, if you head to our website, cnn.com slash Larry King, we've got a quick vote for you. Do you think Dog Show should be off the air? Right now, 66% say no. Are you pleased that two-thirds, two-thirds don't think you should be off the air? Oh, absolutely. I want to say thank you so much. And, and I want it to get to 90% because then the other 10% are the fugitives. So I don't... Ah, fugitives. The answer was fugitive. The one-armed man. Fugitives. The fugitives. There you go. He's making a little joke. It wasn't a we, very good one, though. We knew what he meant by fugitives, by the way. Yeah, of course. Watch the show. And then we got Seton Smith. How y'all doing? Yeah. How y'all doing? Car crash in D.C. Did very well on stage. He did great on stage. Yeah, he won car crash comedy and then uh, went up there and killed in front of God. I don't know how many people are at that show. Ten, twelve thousand, somewhere around there, probably. Yeah. There you go. And he, and you were saying that Dog the Bounty Hunter. You thought that stuff was hilarious? Yeah, I thought it was just beautiful. I just I, I, anything. I was talking to my girlfriend about this. I mean, I don't know very many black people that were very surprised that a man with a white man with a mullet <laughs> was just throwing the N word out there. I mean, why is the world shocked by this? I mean, if Peter Jennings wanted to just bust it out. Okay, we're offended. But come, come on. I don't think uh, the world is shocked, by the way. No. Because even Reverend Al is just kind of like, ah, I'm just sitting on the <laughs> sidelines for this one. Yeah, I'm, there's no shock and outrage Yeah, the and coach everything. doesn't have to call him, you know, get me in the game on this one. I'm just going to yeah. sit this one out. People just can't believe what an ass this guy really is. I think, I think even black people are just enjoying this one. You know what it is, too? It's purely visual. Like, you don't need a Reverend Al or anybody to step up and say, this man is uh, unbelievable. What he said is crazy. You just got to kind of take your hand pointed at him and go, uh, <laughs> uh, Your just, Honor, look at him. Uh, See what he was wearing, though? He was wearing like a, an open-collar shirt with his long Jesus chain. Like, who does yeah. that when they're apologizing? He's very calculated. <laughs> long earring. He's just a fool. I was shocked that Dog actually said that he would kill himself. It was going to yeah. make people... I got to tell you, Mikey, that I would kill myself if I thought that it was going to make people forgive me. <laughs> I would kill myself if I thought it was going to make people forgive me. You got to give me a lot of credit. A lot of credit. I want to be better with the slaves. Better with the slaves. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Rob, do you need aspirin? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. I was just joking. <gasps> oh, huh? Oh, it's Rob. Oh, he was being silly, so I, I thought being, you know, I was giving some aspirin. I was doing Mad Dog Russo instead of Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> see that that you dog? Know, <laughs> I, <laughs> see that was, now, now it came together. <laughs> see, they're that I am.
I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't know why you did Mike Russo and then Mad Dog. There, there you go. So. It's too many steps, as we like to say. <laughs> <laughs> like a flight and a half. <laughs> That's why I said you need aspirin, but see, it turns out you're very intelligent. It was and, very, and it was yeah. very good. It was very good. It's, it's bad for him to be that far ahead of the host. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me dumb things down a little bit here. I knew so. what you were doing, You did. Sir. See, see <laughs> Ed gets all my references. On. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, be give me your awkward dots. You, you realize uh, I miss talks to 25 to 60. 64 year olds. We talked to 12 to 18 year olds. So dumb it down. That's that old? Private life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Swim walking. Oh. It's first swim walk of the day, Jimmy. Yeah. All right.